<laughs> it just, it just, these guys are getting spoiled. Don't ban them. Take <laughs> your XM. Don't ban them. Flush it down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and go fuck your mother. Don't do it. Don't Jimmy do it, Norton. Speaking of Jimmy, a little later in the program, we got this bit where somebody uh, redid a Norton bit. Well, yeah. it's not even a bit. It was just Norton losing it on uh, a phone caller. And they redid the bit with some kid doing Jim's uh, lines. It's great. Absolutely great. But first, we got to say hi to Bill Burr. Billy Burr. Entering the Hello. program. Bill. Yes, Bill. William Greetings. Burr. Someone's saying you could get mono just from being lazy and depressed. Oh, they're listening you to just, us? You just get it. And they're listening to us? Yeah. They heard what we were saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I've had the flu for like a week and a half. Yeah, the show goes on even when I the, forgot. Uh, even when the, the, we're off uh, in, in commercial break, some people can still hear us. Yeah, it's the Pal Talk thing that's blowing up, right? If you're on Pal Talk, yeah, go to Pal Talk. We got what two cameras now? One in the office and one in here. I forget now. Office cam, studio cam, so people can hear what you're saying. And we're gonna add more cams. How cams, much does that cost a month? Commercials. Um, uh, let me see. I don't know. As a member, I'm hosting a room, and I know it costs me ninety dollars a month just to put this on. Out of my own pocket, motherfuckers. I, I have to sort through emails in MySpace and things like that every night about, dude, just another way to milk the listener, huh? Because, you know, you got to sign up. And I think it's yeah. something like 40 bucks or $60 a year, depending on, like, what type of service you want. 60 bucks a year. All right. I understand there's very poor people out there that can't swing it. I'm sorry. But they're accusing me of actually making money on this when I'm paying, like, 90 bucks a month. Just to keep this thing yeah, going. We're not doing it to make more money. No, I just figured people wanted we're to kind of peek to in on it. We're just trying to enhance the listening experience for people. Yeah, and kind of defensive. And then it's up to it's you very defensive. to decide how far you want, want to go the Because if show. you fielded so many emails on a nightly basis about how, Dude, so how's the pal talk checks coming in? Uh, you making money off the listeners like that? No. And I know I pay no so ass. that people have the privilege of watching this. It sounds like Herman Edwards before he left the Jets. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, you think yeah. I make money? <laughs> <laughs> and besides, it's, I love what I do, man. <laughs> besides, it's the Audible.com checks we're getting. You're right. The new know your coach. facts. <laughs> Get it straight. Know your facts. Yeah. It's the Audible.com checks. You think I knew that the stocks for Pal Talk was going to go up a million percent? You no think? No clue. Bullshit. No. No. Anyway, so I was talking to Bill, getting myself a little tea, and he's like, said something like, "Hey, it's good to see you." And I'm like, "Yeah, this fucking flu has been a drag, you know." He goes, "I gotta tell you, I was scared you had mono." I'm like, "What?" He goes, "Yeah, one of the in what, what's the story? One of the interns, um, I believe, uh, back uh, a few weeks ago, during Emilio's last week, he's, I think he had mono, and I was afraid you might have had that." That. Wait, wait, you think he might have had mono, Doctor? Uh, Jesus Christ. Well, he said he had mono. Can you sue for saying that motherfucker got a disease that he yeah. doesn't have? <laughs> this whole <laughs> thing is unraveling. It really I is. I think I might have heard. <laughs> right. Or maybe I dreamed it. Rumor <laughs> had it. That a nigga had mono? Can you not say I have... <laughs> He's like, oh, shit, why am I in the air? I just want to have a little small talk with you. I think Emilio. Emilio was, he, uh, he tested positive for HIV. Oh, my God. I know God. this. Um, I think that's why he was itchy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's all scratch. Who do you think had, uh, uh, who do you think had mono? Emilio. Before he left, I think he spread it around. He used to kiss the donuts and, and, and lick all the empty cups. <laughs> so I'm spitting on the Starbucks machine <laughs> nozzle. The Starbucks machine. He just he, he went underneath. Just he's spitting into it. Yeah, he was drinking out of it like a water fountain. Drinking out the hot coffee Drink. machine. <laughs> I saw a million drinking out the hot coffee machine. <laughs> oh my now, God. Now, what did you say? No, it's just that after um, Emilio's internship was up, he's like, yeah, it would end earlier. So I had mono, and I got really sick. Great. And then Opie was sick for a week with a sore throat, and I know that's how mono starts. Sore throat, yeah. It and starts then, with a sore throat? Yeah. <laughs> it could last for, what, six to eight months? <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. I got really, really sick of mar. And it makes you really How are you feeling, Opie? What, what, uh, feeling I think wake? blueberries is the cure for that, I heard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are some of the other symptoms? Steel-plated Cheerios. Diarrhea. 
Uh, uh, yeah, don't. Ha- I didn't have that, thank God. A flu, constant flu. And, and flu you're action. tired and uh, you're yeah. tired, sleeping like a motherfucker lately. Swollen glands. Uh, I had a mono- swollen glands. I had that a- could be the flu. Yeah, I had mono a year ago, uh, October, and I got really sick. I went down to like 119 pounds. I, I was. Would you? It <laughs> sounds like you gained weight. <laughs> yeah, I know now. I know we're all looking at him like sizing up. Like, well, damn, you're not much over 119 right now, <laughs> motherfucker. I thought mono was like a cute disease. I first heard it in like um, Happy Days. Like, you got mono. Yeah, it's I like a it junior like, high disease. Yeah, that's some cute you shit. Get from kissing. <laughs> from yeah. doing little kisses behind the gymnasium. <laughs> yeah, that actually meant you I were got getting mono. so. Yeah, yeah, it was cool to have mono. Was your bad dude? Story. I got mono. Kissing disease, they call it. <laughs> and I just know it's highly contagious, so uh, um, yeah, no, that's okay. why I thought that at first. All right, I don't yeah. have mono. I'm you didn't give it to anybody when you had it. Oh uh, no, was just I was just at, really fucking sick. Was you just looking at like the symptoms of mono? Oh great! Oh fucking E Rock oh, punched it up. Doctor E Rock punched it up on that shit's medical. The, uh, that shit's the best. You look up the symptoms for any disease, like I don't know. Ass Jeeves, diarrhea, <laughs> soft, sort of. Oh, uh, ass Jeeves. What does it mean? Mm. Plus <laughs> sore throat, plus <laughs> right. diarrhea, plus sweaty. It sends you to some oh. gay fucking <laughs> porn site. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter what you put in a well, goddamn search engine. <laughs> Be anything from the cold to HIV. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, great. Thanks for going down. down man. WebMD.com and be the biggest hypochondriac. Oh, you have God. everything. It comes on. Opie, is that you asking? You ain't got mono, nigga. Get off this. <laughs> yeah, you go on those sites, you're like, all right, good news, I don't have mono, but damn, I think I got these three or four diseases. <laughs> good news. 90% of diseases involve, like, sweating, diarrhea, right, right. And fatigue, muscle, muscle pain, and fatigue. Yeah. Oh, I got cancer. I right. feel great. How the fuck did I get the sickle cell? I'm not black. <laughs> uh, well, it's like you're, well, it's like you're convinced that you got some shit. Like, what? Oh, mommy, Ma, have you been fucking somebody black? Because I think I got sickle cell in me. Right. No, oh, sweetie. Man, only man. black people uh, get that. You have a sore throat or throat cancer. <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs> can I get a flow chart here that I can run through? Or that's the, but that's, the, that's the culture of men. We do not go to the fucking doctor. Like women, they just check just any little thing. They go to the doc, dude. I am not going you to the fucking. It. Once doctor. you break the seal, though, then you go, and you got it. Oh, it's one of those things anyway. you just got it. Thank you, Bill. It's ridiculous. Thanks for making me wonder if I. I just always look the same. Like when I used to have a car. Oh, sorry, that? sorry. It's just like the, you go to a mechanic. They're gonna find something. They'll find something. Or they need to make money. They will find something wrong. You right. just got to hope it's not that bad. And everybody is up to the finger up the ass phase if you go to the doctor. So yeah, You're all up to that finger oh, up the ass phase. Oh, am I age. putting that off? Did you do it? Oh, I'm putting it off. You didn't do it yet? No. I'm you? surprised. Nah, f- you know if you didn't do it, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you're up what, am I more apt to have a finger up my ass than you are? No, no, just white guy, first time, white guy timing. It's just like white ever. guy's going to fucking do it before a black dude. Six it. months ago, first I'll do it time years ever. later. Broke my cherry. Uh, what, the finger in the booty? Yeah. Oh, the Moon River moment? <laughs> the yeah. Moon River moment. Yeah, sometimes I can't. Now I got to get, is, get uh, I think it's enlarged. Uh, I, I got to piss like a motherfucker sometimes. It's just like, when I and I try to hold it, a little really? comes out. I got to stick, have somebody stick something on my Oh, ass. boy. If you're yeah. fucking a lot. Oh, boy. Let's look that off a lot. Website. Then you should be fine. <laughs> you fucking a lot? Jerking off Not a lot? Not as much. No? Because I take these pills. Mm. I still think I go to a real doctor rather than listen to a radio DJ. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we hey, we know a little bit about he really, <laughs> he really was coming with yeah, yeah, like this official. I got all serious yeah. for a minute. And I was like, doctor, yeah. <laughs> well, um, I should have. Let me let me diagnose you on WebMD here. <laughs> have you been masturbating a lot lately? Oh, yeah, um, you should be fine. Are you <laughs> fine? I think we could talk normal language what, here. What I got? Yeah. Cancer? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, the first DJ sued for malpractice. Bill, I like you. Stay out of this. There is a patient doctor privilege here that you are not privy yeah, to. I'm over here in the waiting room. <laughs> Type that in, by the way. Uh, masturbates a lot and sweats a lot. Let's see what it comes up with. Masturbates. <laughs> Jim <sweat>. Norton. Uh, <laughs> Norton. You have Jim Norton you disease. Have, you have Norditis. Yeah, Norditis. <laughs> Let's go to Mark. Mark, what's up? <laughs> Jimitis. Mark A. Hey. Hey, man, you, you a hypochondriac or what, man? Every, every time I turn on the radio, you're sick, brother. What's going on, man? Uh no, I've been pretty good actually. Right. I, I've had a rough. Hey, I've had a rough good, like. All right, thanks. I can't talk over you, so yeah, I'll man. Let you go there. If you're a hypochondriac, you always think you're sick. If he calls yeah, every was, time you are sick, it was bad. It was bad. Immune system. 
Right. Yeah, it was really sick. Anthony, that was really sick, Doctor uh, Rakumier. Uh, are we conferring with yes. each other? Are we having a little conference? You, you concur? I concur. <laughs> yes. with, 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 with your findings, <laughs> Doctor Burr. I don't think Patrice has enlarged prostate. I think I, I no. think I'll prescribe a little jerking off. I'm prescribing uh, some yeah. jerking off. Where's my prescription? <laughs> yeah, right, pad? Right, right. I'm gonna write down. <laughs> Anthony, Anthony, jerk <laughs> off twice a day as needed. <laughs> <laughs> this is good doctor, bad doctor. One one says jerk off. The other one says, look at fat boy. You got to do sit ups. Push ups and eat right. <laughs> Fuck that, nigga. I'm jerking off. Like, I'm going with Kumi. these other doctors. <laughs> is right, right. This prescription is Second refillable. Second opinion, jerk my dick. <laughs> All right, listen. We got to move on. Uh, you know what? This is amazing, but because uh, we lost about a week of radio, we we still haven't gotten to the Emily Stern remixes. No, we had just started doing this, and Opie uh, fell deathly ill with what I uh, diagnosed as. Yes. And we have sound clips that we did not get to. Ah, uh, no. Well, the remixes are coming in like crazy. We got about 15 to 20 so far, and 10 of them are worth playing, believe it or not. Wow, that's a great average for our listeners, because usually you guys stink on ice. You want to uh, set this up once again? <laughs> they suck. <laughs> well, uh, Howie's little girl, Emily Stern. Remember that burning the bridge thing we were talking about about a half hour ago? You might want to sit out yeah. this next hour. It's amazing. <laughs> you might want to. You might want to sit out. Can I this be honest hour? with you, motherfuckers, man? <laughs> All right. I, I, you know, when these guys was gone, I did Stern twice, right? Yeah. He's one of my growing up. One of my favorite motherfuckers in the world. I won't you know, deny I, that I either. I made a decision like, okay, O and A is my, my motherfuckers. I'm not doing Stern or whatever. But when you trash, you know, you guys trash him. I want to not be a pussy and just come yeah. in. Oh yeah, yo, yeah, 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 motherfucking phony. I'm gonna kick. You know what? I'm gonna whoop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's what's uh, the sidekick? I shouldn't remember his name because I like the motherfucker. Um, uh, uh, Rossi, Artie. Artie. I, I fuck you up too, Artie. Like I want to do that shit and join yeah. it. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you guys, you guys fuck with his daughter. <laughs> you know what it is? I understand you don't have a problem or issues with the guy. Not, not I, to the, I have no problem know, yeah. with that. Yeah, we'll, we'll we say do. that right off the bat. We do. We have you, you, The guy was a guy. fucking asshole. We actually asshole talked about that on the phone one night, the awkwardness of that moment it when you sit awkward. here and Opie and Anthony. It's just like, yeah, the guy never really did anything to me. Yeah, he opened for Dave Chappelle. He put me on. He was cool. And you're like, and you're sitting on here. Is that motherfucker, show. and I'm like, faggot, I'm gonna kick you, you, you oh, you, and jumping up, oh, you liar, and I'm sitting there like, dude, 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 my phone, I should take this, I got pull a handy, my prostate feels alive, I'll be yeah. right back, Obi, Obi, okay. standing up, you cocksucker, my doctor told me to jerk off, <laughs> be right back, well, the latest was when he said he would never stand in anyone's way as far as making a career oh, for I himself, was that law, oh. I lost my fucking mind. Oh, yeah. you pussy. The shit he pulled behind the scenes, and then he has the balls to say that. There are that comics. That wouldn't fuck with anyone's career. There are comics that are like, that hate other comics. One of these is Joe Rogan and. Uh, oh, yeah. So we, we can relate to what you guys Carlos. are saying. Carlos Mencia and right. Joe I have Rogan. No problem with Carlos. Rogan hates. Carlos Mencia. Right. And and we had fun with uh, uh, Rogan talking about Carlos here on the show. It was a lot of fun. Rogan's a fucking animal. I love him. He digs in. He don't give a shit. And it's great to listen to. Then a couple of weeks later, we had Carlos come on. And people are trashing like, dude, why aren't you ripping apart Carlos? And the truth of the matter is, Carlos never did anything to me. Right, right. Never did anything bad, so I didn't jump on the bash Carlos train. <laughs> this is not but a I'm not gonna. But I'm not going <laughs> to, yeah. like, tell Joe, hey, Joe, you know, calm down on Carlos. The guy obviously has a fucking problem with Carlos. I'm still... Not sure what it is. Uh, it was, it was Joe's a psychopath. I know fun. that. It was fun to listen to. It was very fun to listen to, but I don't have a problem with him, so I'm not going to jump on it, but I'm not going to stop Joe from doing it. You have loyalties, but it's like yeah. you're not sworn in. Like, Obi goes, all right, Patrice, come let me talk to you, man. Off air. Yeah. I need you to go shoot Robin in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Right. Ah, <laughs> uh, that could... Uh, you don't. You don't have you to. Want to sell out helium this weekend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Cover Jesus' whole big beard Philly thing. Oh, yeah. Done. Done. Uh, <laughs> I'm sick of hearing that thing anyway about the damn big beards in Philly. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so maybe I'm getting sick of it. Maybe I'm not. Maybe See I'm not. what I'm saying? So let's so let's acknowledge that uh, Bill Burr and Patrice O'Neill are in studio, and they may or may not be uncomfortable with the next segment. That's fine. 
fries. But we have to go there because this you is too good for radio. You can feel free to join in or sit and watch. Maybe at we'll your sit here and we'll judge your rage. <laughs> Try okay. to see, see who who is more annoyed. No, not by how it's. No, served. we got we got the rage out of us. Yeah, uh, now it's just funny. Now this is just funny. It's and irony, is what this is. It's ironic that a man who built his career bringing whores into his studio, doing things like throwing baloney on their asses, raiding their bodies on a scale of 1 to 10, um, berating them, having them show their tits, have them do sexual things, just all those things. It's, it's ironic that his little girl, his daughter, one of the first forays into the public world she decides to take is a nude role in a Jewish play. Where she uh, takes the stage, very scantily clad for most of it, and then at the end, uh, disrobes. And uh, Howie was a little upset by this. Whether he really said how upset he was on Larry King and, and uh, other interviews, um, I don't know. I don't think he did. I don't think he was honest there. I think any father whose 22-year-old daughter wants to be an actress, uh, and, and you, you, your, your career is Howard Stern... Uh, would be upset at this. You don't want it being your daughter. You never want it being your daughter. <laughs> so it was brought to our attention, and, uh, well, we got some audio of her doing her thing. Yeah. Let, I think we should just play the, the, the audio of her first. Well, just part of it. Cause part of it. It goes ever, on and on. Ever. The play sounds like the worst piece of drivel. <laughs> it really is an awful play. <laughs> it's a Jewish theater group. <laughs> I'm loving you two sitting in judgment. <laughs> I'm not saying that. It's just awkward. It's, it's like with funny. Stella. It's fucking funny, but it's like you. We're all, you know what the funny thing is? No matter what happens, uh -huh. we're a part of the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> And eventually Stern is going to say that fat fuck, fuck whatever he's going to say. Fat fuck. And, and I'm going to, you know, be like, Dude, he didn't even call you by name when you were on there. But that's so. the reason. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be very honest. a little honest. more respect right. on this I'm going to be honest program. with you. I'm, this, I'm, 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 I'm honest, motherfucker. Hey, who I loves you, huh? Who loves you? Yeah, that's I right. I doing Come it. On. I went, when you guys were off, I did that <laughs> Stern. <laughs> talked about Brazil <laughs> twice, right? <laughs> yeah. But then, you know, I wanted to go on, and I was listening to a show. Uh -huh. And he goes, uh, they had the tallest man in the world. Like he was like nine feet tall. That that guy from like um, what, he always plays a, a circus. Yeah, freak. he was in that movie. He with, died by the way. He died. Yeah. He's dead. But he goes, he's on there with him, I think, and he's like, hey man, you don't get no pussy. He's like, no. So I'm like, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Anthony oh, goes, sure he's dead. You can burn that bridge. <laughs> oh, giant yeah. fucking giant guy. Wow, look how brave you are. Wait, let me finish. So <laughs> yeah, let me let me goes, give you let me give you the cover of the Daily News. Why don't you goof on this little dead girl in the coffin, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, she ain't you know what they're like? They're like they're like girls in seventh grade. Like you, you gotta hate who they hate. Ooh. Okay, we all hate Ooh. Susie. You gonna let her push you in the face? Ooh, go ahead, hit yeah. her. Let me hold your earrings. No slumber party for you tonight, Missy. Where are you? You are officially uninvited. We're passing out the invitations and go right past you two. Yeah, where did you rock? You're where did, invited. Where did you do safe comedy? For Travis you? is invited. <laughs> I'm teasing a giant man, but I'm telling you, got any, you got any Shelly Winters jokes you want to get out? Fuck. <laughs> that bad bitch. <laughs> you know what's up about that bad rock person? Fuck him. Fuck him. And, you know, but he goes, the reason I stopped doing it, and long before you guys came back, it's like, okay, first of all, you was coming back. Second of all, he called me, he was like, why don't you go to Brazil? And he just goes, what's that? F Stern goes, what's that fat comic from Brazil? Oh, and I go, Jesus. Oh, this motherfucker. I poured my goddamn gold, gave him gold. I was like, this mm -hmm. guy, you could just call me Patrice. If you had to call me Patrice O'Neal, yeah. I would really be like, like right. fuck, man. I like Stern. I like you guys. But it's like, if you had been always like, hey, Patrice O'Neal, da, da, da. It's an easy choice. You motherfuckers, I'm Patrice O'Neal. But th th I was that fat comic from Brazil. Like, it's oh, all no. about him, man. No one else gets a Never on the air. <laughs> just behind your back. Man, I never have a problem never with Artie. Never say that I on the air. I love our fucking Artie, man. We just yeah. get along. But th th I met Artie recently comic. at the Brooklyn Diner with uh, Norton. It was nothing but I, nice I, to I, me. I, love I got no man. problem with Artie. I really love Artie. I don't think I've ever bad-mouthed Artie. I heard he's wearing a wire. Really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Artie, pat him down. Uh, <laughs> oh, so we got this. It's like two mob family. It really is. It's like two mob family. <laughs> I'm coming here you. as an extension of goodwill <laughs> between the two radio stations. Am I right? 
No, it's, <laughs> no, it's said about that. This mob family, you got two guys that are this close to walking around the streets in fucking bathrobes. We're so fucked up. <laughs> I'm telling you, oh. But if anything happens to Artie Lang, <laughs> like he gets hit by a car, <laughs> accidentally shot. If he gets struck by lightning, <laughs> I will hold you responsible. <laughs> and Obi, you didn't, you didn't, you did not give that steam. Obi, man, when he came back, I'm never forget when I came. He, you felt vengeance. Oh yeah, like you just felt like I'm mm. back. Like he just woke up from a deep sleep in one of those movies, like he was a monster, like old Dracula, <laughs> and he just like, Bleh! oh you fucking cocksuckers, Bleh! you're going to get, <laughs> you're all dead. Like he just rose from the dead with some blueberries and, and just all said, pissed I'm off, kill everybody. Yeah. So uh, everybody's in here explaining. Oh, be listen, dude. <laughs> dude, we lived it, and for him to say that he doesn't try getting any in the way of anyone's careers, oh my, that just went right to my oh. soul. Oh, man. You right to everything I do. And cheese tomorrow, and he's going to come back, and it's going to be like bagel and lox. What's this? <laughs> that means Bill the intern sleeps with the fishes. <laughs> sleeps with the fishes. <laughs> oh, he, he cock-blocked us. I don't think we've... Uh, f- ah, forget it. We'll, we'll tell the story another we've day. We've been trying to get so it. many times. Yeah, plus, you guys are over it, right? Right. Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> That's All right, here we go. Ex-girlfriend who pissed you off. You're never over it. No. Fuck. Not no. just an ex-girlfriend that pissed him off. Ex-girlfriend that gave him a disease. Yeah. Right. Herpes and left him. And they're, they're trying <laughs> to do that. And did well, That's it. cool. I wish her well. Dude, oh, I know. never... We Enjoy didn't. the Valtrex. <laughs> <laughs> we, we could give a shit if we ever had a relationship with him when we were working for the same company, but we didn't we didn't want to be cock-blocked at every turn by him. That was the problem. Could it's he not, have, could this he isn't about, sorry. like... What? Could he ever come Fuck and say... Fuck, no. He's the biggest fucking I'm phony. Sorry. It, it, fellas, it, I'm sorry. What if, let's, fellas, I'm he's going to need to go in therapy for another 10 years that and wear, never, and wear Boy Scout uniforms for another five or six years and take his fucking medicine that he's now taking, and then maybe. <laughs> Opie, not really leaving any now, doors open. Hey, what the if, guy is fucking... Hey, what if he ever said, okay, seeing look. the psychologist, he's on a fucking couch talking about me, 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 me. Guaranteed, his 22 year old daughter is out uh, dancing. Maybe if it was a little less about you and a little more about your little girl, she wouldn't be taking her fucking clothes off in a goddamn uh, uh, Jewish play. Jewish play. <laughs> hey, where are you guys going? <laughs> <laughs> right, we got oh, shit my prostate. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, see, you set that up before you fucker. <laughs> you know where we're going. Ooh, with this I got to pee. This is enlarged. I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> right, his bladder is like Hannity's phone. <laughs> he can just fucking leave and. Any minute. I am amazed that we have friends at this point. I really am. Friends? Well, uh, you know, show friends. Mm. All right. So we got the, we got audio of uh, Howard's daughter here. This audio is up on opianthony.com. This is the audio people are using to do their remixes, and we're about to finally get into some of the remixes. Yeah. And they're coming in like crazy. But here's just a taste of the audio from the dumb play. The, uh, the, uh, quickly, the premise is uh, it's a whole thing about the Kabbalah and uh, Emily Stern played this madonna like character the madonna right right uh, the entertainer not the uh, you know holy thing and uh, she wore these cone protuberances on her bosom and some uh, little panties and then took them off at the end right. and she does this whole little rant sexual spiritual spiritual sexual both and in all sexual spiritual If you're really interested, the rest of the audio is up on Opie and Anthony. And video, by the way. And video, right. Someone got a camcorder into the... Uh... <laughs> Don't look so pained. <laughs> Naked pictures? Maybe. Yeah, it could be. Maybe. Oh, my God. Could be. Maybe. Oh, you niggas can't have kids. 
No, fuck that. <laughs> oh, never. Baby girl was seen. <laughs> you know they would just be the worst whores. <laughs> Easy. No kids. Oh, I can't have kids. I, I have. Uh, you got plans? I have aspirations to be oh, a father. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I certainly do. Yeah, better hurry. You're going to be that Tony Randall. Tony dad. Randall. <laughs> have it at 72. <laughs> Take a couple of baby pictures and then keel over. <laughs> father son breakfast at the yeah. junior high where it's like, oh, you had to bring your grandfather? <laughs> no. My so dad. Much bad. I have him at 85. Well, so that, no one can tease him when he grows up. He'll be dead already. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got uh, the Emily Stern remixes, Howard's daughter. The first one is uh, Jeremy in Athens, Georgia. Mm. Listen to this. This came in. Hello? Papa, don't preach. How are you? I'm so happy I'm in the Kabbalah Center. Oh, okay. Shaddai in Hebrew also means my breasts. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. My kids are God, leave. My kids are God. Um, what, what, what kind of sick thing are you into? <laughs> I learned so much. I now meditate on another CIT and everybody will immediately notice my kids. How old were you when you lost your virginity? My vagina. <laughs> Have you had sex with other people beside uh, your boyfriend? Spiritual, sexual. All right, here's the big question. Are you a fan of anal sex? Why are you spitting on me? You need a father figure like me. I'm gonna keep my baby. What's the problem? Why are you calling me? You look like a fat black man. I've been I gotta go. <laughs> Your life is going to be fucking a living hell. <laughs> wow, I like the finish on that. Well, Patrice has officially tapped out. <laughs> and he took his headphones off. <laughs> and I've never seen Bill Burr further from a microphone in my life. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you guys are going after his kids. <laughs> I don't feel safe in the studio. <laughs> she has made... Look, we are... This is the Daily News. I'm the looking for, for fucking Beetlejuice across the <laughs> street with one of those RPGs. This was <laughs> shoot it in here. This was a window. The only reason that I justify this is it's a public show. This was a fucking public show. Excuse me. We're not sneaking into you know New York Daily News. We didn't uh, we didn't go in with uh, uh, one of those little fucking press hats ourselves, <laughs> like Drudge wears with a camera. <laughs> So hold it! <laughs> 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 Fucking snapping pictures of her like King Kong. <laughs> this is in the news, Bill. We're not making this up. Hey, you don't don't need to justify yourself, man. Do you think? All right. We're going to move what on. I sounded like you sounded like I was being defensive again. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I swear to God, we didn't come up with this. There were uh, photos. I am not leaving the Jets. So is Anthony Tom. He's not leaving the Jets. Join us. Join, join us. us. Join us. But you know what? I would be. Some, you will join us. I'd be a, a dirty follower, right? Mm -hmm. If I knew what to join. Like, I can't. Ah, fuck it. You guys have too much to lose. Yeah. Can, can someone call Rich Voss. We can, <laughs> give us He's some like, comic with no, nothing not, to lose. Really. Fuck that motherfucker, man. <laughs> Yeah, you don't know. Like, I don't even know. Like, what y'all got? It's hilarious. All right, me, all right, all right. This shit's hilarious. It, it's like, I don't give a fuck. Like, really, right, let me, just like, let I don't me, know how to join in with let that Let me shit. help you then. Mm -hmm. I will help you join in. Go ahead. Let's, you just make believe this isn't Howard. Make believe it's some other celebrity and their daughter doing something like this. And we're just commenting. Yeah. On I can do that. Yeah. All right. There well, you fair go. Enough. So, so she's like a hose bag. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Let's move on to the. Let's move on to the next one. Here's. Uh, so are you, is she a hose bag? <laughs> nigga. <laughs> oh, that nigga's daughter hose bag. Here we go. We'll move on with Captain Obvious. Sent this one in. It's the next Emily Stern remix. All right. <laughs> All right, how, wow. How the fuck did they do that? Who got that? How the fuck did they That's do that? That's an old NBC jingle. That's how From NBC show. used to do uh, jingles, yeah. He used to do, uh, but that's the actual one of the jingles he used back again? in NBC. 
Oh, he probably had this made when she was born then. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was Howard, one of Howard's jingles, Emily Stern's father. Emily Stern's father. Oh. When dad leaves, this is what happened. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. And this is, wow. That such, was Captain Obvious. It's by such the way. a curse, and it's like, okay. <laughs> You, you're only going to hear this, this audio here. Right. Because it's, everybody else is not fucking with Stern really no. like that. And then no. maybe maybe some, some regular news. And the best them. part? But it's just like, it's the worst thing. Yes, it is. Ha- it's the, this is the worst thing you can have and be Stern. Like, to have his daughter be this bad. Like, to be like... It is. The, you know, all, all, well, not even like you said. She didn't write this awful material. <laughs> <laughs> this is why. This is why you don't go to off, off, off Broadway now. Yeah. Because no, the on Broadway stuff is bad enough. This is true shit. Yeah, this is. Uh, it's just a nightmare for him to have to do. And, 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 and watching on Larry King, watching that interview he did on Larry King, he was genuinely uncomfortable talking about it. Uh, he tried to make excuses for it, really, and and try to. Uh, Make an excuse for why she left, and there was some controversy with the director. And uh, but you could tell he was genuinely upset about talking about it. We got that. Which and by made, the way, the best part we of, got that. The best part of this, he just has to sit there and take it because he can't yeah. fight this battle. He just knows he it. can't fight this battle with us just ever. Take it. Big story today in the newspaper. I opened up the pages and there was my beautiful daughter in the newspaper. Uh, my daughter Emily is my oldest daughter. She's 22 years old and she's a great kid. And she, uh, you know, went and uh, did a show. I was unaware of the show. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not. A, I haven't seen the show. Don't know too much about the show. And uh, you know, evident. What does that say? My yeah. parents knew what I was up to every moment of the day. It says that <laughs> after. Mother knows nothing about it. <laughs> what does that say? That he had no idea what was going on. It says that after the divorce, that he uh, probably um, didn't spend much time uh, uh, seeing what she was up to. Or he would have maybe sat her down. I don't think he was downplaying it so he didn't have to get into the details. Yeah, I, I didn't don't really say know what it's about. Do you think he sat there in the back? Like, <laughs> I think we have one. Oh, okay. I know what you can. You want, uh, me, to, you want me to use this? Um, well, I know exactly where you're going. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that <laughs> it has audio. Uh, yeah. Why don't you explain the audio you have? I know exactly. Well, we have audio of uh, Howard. This, this is the brilliance of Ant and I. We didn't even communicate. I know exactly what he wants to do. I think we, this proves right. that he's lying to Larry King. Right. Because he did indeed see the show. So Because one of our pests was there with a tape recorder and recorded Howard at the show. Right. Watching his daughter Emily uh, perform. All right. Let's go to that tape now. Sexual. Spiritual. Spiritual. Sexual. Yes, of course, that clip from Hardcore, yeah, <laughs> one of the wow. best movies ever. So there. When he's sitting in that porno theater watching his daughter. You ever see that? No, no, no. Oh, what a movie. What Hardcore. A movie. All right, here we go. So back to the uh, the clip from Larry King. Big story today in the newspaper. I opened up the pages, and there was my beautiful daughter in the newspaper. Uh, my daughter Emily is my oldest daughter. She's 22 years old, and she's a great kid. And she, uh, you know, went and uh, did a show. I was unaware of the show. I'm not a, uh, I'm not, I haven't seen the show. Don't know too much about the show. And, uh, you know, evidently uh, she had some falling out with the uh, director. And it's, you know, it's all rather unfortunate because she's a, you know, she's a great kid. And like so many people trying to get started in acting, 
from what she tells me, she put her faith in the director and the cast, and a uh, wonderful cast, but uh, kind of made a deal with the director that he wouldn't use her picture for promotional purposes as, and would uh, single her out. They kind of had a verbal agreement, and uh, she felt very betrayed by this guy. Mm, she still got naked. Hmm. Hold on, uh, Bill and Patrice are calling on the phone. Uh, Bill, Patrice, what's up? Hey, what's up, boys? Um, listen, uh, we're gonna be over at the Brooklyn Diner, and we'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> calling from down the block, it says. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> oh god. Usually, Ant and I have a we have a really good rhythm when we do our bits, but today, the, uh, this segment right now is a little. <laughs> No, because it's, like, it's, it's funny to fuck with these. That's too why we're trying to actually right. like do, you know do the soft shoe shuffle around this whole right. Well, why don't we, we just, why don't we just play the next uh, remix? <laughs> Let's just do that. <laughs> the next Emily Stern remix comes from Just Joe. Howard Stern, WNBC. Hi, you're on the air. My white shiny legs, my vagina. Do you know what sex is? God in my tits. Oh. My tits are God. Yep. My tits are godly. Yeah. My tits are God. Absolutely. So when you say you want to lose your virginity to me, does that mean that you actually had fantasies about me? Papa, don't preach. You need a father figure like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a good one. Who was that? That one. Yeah, that's uh, just Joe. Just Joe. Nice. Just Joe. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. It's that performance. You can't get this. This is so bad. I know. I will. I swear. I walk around the house and I'll just blurt that out because it's so funny. Vagina. <laughs> My vagina! Oh, you can't live that. You know he's calling on the phone. You, do you know what you're doing to me? <laughs> what did you do to me? Goofy bitch. What did you, you do? You think she quit that herself? She didn't know. She, that, oh, no. He, he, he put his hand around her throat and said, Are you what out are your you fucking, doing fucking to me? skull with this horse shit? This is, but this is all the shit. All the fucking Kathy Lee Gifford and her son. He hopes the son grows up gay shit. Remember all that fun stuff? Back in the day, yeah. Remember back in the golden years of Stern's show? All that stuff. This is ha coming back to haunt them. All right, here we go with the next one from... Vagina! Vagina! Coke Logic has a couple that made the list here. All right. Here's his first one. I just hate listening to people bomb. It makes me uncomfortable because I hate the feeling. So when I listen to that shit... You just know it's like... Yeah, every horrendous set I've ever had just <laughs> keeps rushing and back into my head. And you just picture it upstairs at a... At some, you know, oh, some some, some upper hole. west side, like six seats. Oh, what was that? Look yeah. like the triad. Remember that, that oh, awful gig? Just upstairs, over on our 72nd, just upstairs, and it has windows. No. You know, you can see you can see traffic. <laughs> you can see and the, Asians delivering food below you. There's no backstage, so the cast has to stay just behind a curtain that's attached just a wall, oh. and you can see them moving and where they changing come out and stuff. And they, they, oh, they change in the audience. You just know... <laughs> That it's just not, you just know it's bad. It's not you, show you biz. You go back on stage, it's vagina, vagina. All right, here we go. Here's uh, Coke Logic, his Emily Stern remix. It's quick. God in my tits, my tits inside God. My tits are godly, my tits are God. Pops. Put your goddamn clothes back on. <laughs> hey, look at that. Paul Mercurio making an appearance on the back. show. <laughs> oh, very good. That was the clip of when he went into uh, The Graduate. The Graduate. When Kathleen Turner got naked. Yeah, that was the we big... We set up a thing where he stood up in the audience and said, just screamed out, put your goddamn clothes back on. Kathleen, put your goddamn clothes back on. All right, here's another one from Coke that Logic. Big moment. The next Emily Stern remix. We need Fred to run music. <laughs> <laughs> this is some find. Okay, here we go. On behalf of the theater, shut up. <laughs> Coke Logic. Hey, wow, Coke Logic. That was the best one so far. I believe so, yes. I like that. We, we got to get some of these up on the clips. website. 
pulled up the relevant clips. Yeah. Made sense. Yeah. And it ended with me. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the next one is from Premarital Sex. Mm-hmm. This is uh, the latest Emily Stern remix. <laughs> wow. That's a part of the thing, too? Um, no. No. Oh, okay. That's, uh, Jesus. Part yeah, of the fun, finale. though. <laughs> yeah, the grand finale. My breasts. <laughs> my vagina. <laughs> Who is this, this director of this thing? Uh, Tuvia... I don't know. Tannenbaum? I mean, eh, some Jew. He's, he's like, I don't know. Some creative he's, Jew. He's 15, he's still directing shit this awful? Yeah, what and happened that, to him? That, dude, that, that's the saddest part of this story. Nah, he's, he, he did Jesus Christ Who Saw Hair. So this one was, this is, this is his comeback. <laughs> <laughs> well, evidently he was a two-trick pony. Just like <laughs> all, uh, all plays where people have to get naked. Old Calcutta. <laughs> hair. Yeah, wherever people have to be naked. Damn, that shit just is, sounds just looks like a creep. Bad. Uh, all right, we're almost done here. The next one is uh, by Dice, faithful listener of the program. Oh, I thought you meant the V. Dice. No, another Emily Stern remix. We named her Emily. Seven pounds, eight ounces. Oh. <laughs> I saw my daughter and I teared up. <laughs> Made me look by having sex with so many guys in my life. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> These guys are getting so uncomfortable. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you know, on a daily basis, I got to tell Patrice O'Neill to back off from the mic a little bit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to say that right now. Not today. <laughs> There's eight feet between oh, you and that microphone right God. now. It's still coming through clear, too. That's amazing. <laughs> 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 oh, you uh, fucking guys. You gotta join the dark side. It's a lot more fun. Uh, we're just listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we're just just, listening. Yeah. We didn't bring you in here to just listen. I'm, I'm just we're listening. listening. We're listening to the best clips. <laughs> <laughs> that's you know, all? Yeah, it's the pests. They run this show a little bit, so, yeah, you know, we gotta give them a little. Enjoying the uh, we gotta give them a little time on the show. <laughs> I was enjoying the. <laughs> <laughs> you were enjoying the Aussie. I was enjoying the Aussie, man. That was awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, Audie? Yeah, I was blindsided by that motherfucker. I didn't know what was going on. You can tell him how it, you know, I'm sitting there in this bullshit with the thought. I don't know what the fuck. I just come in and plug a show and these motherfuckers. <laughs> All the fucking cell phones that are going to be ringing after the program today. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> now, this guy, Aaron from Miami, uh, has a very good question for Patrice. Aaron, go ahead. Hey, Patrice. How you doing, man? What up? A- I want to ask you, you more comf- less comfortable today or when you were in the rest stop in Connecticut? <laughs> uh, the, he, imitate something. <laughs> this is, it's, here's the, uh, this is why, it's, it's not uncomfortable, but here's why it could be in the, in the studio right now. Mm-hmm. Because it's not like, you, you, you want to just join in. You, it is, it is awful. But it's like, I, I don't know how to be as, Hey, like, if we talk about Angelina Jolie getting pregnant or something, we know it at the same level, so we're commenting on it. Uh-huh. But you guys fucking hate Howard Stern. I can only tease him as far as this clip. You motherfuckers, right. like, join, right, like I said, hey, do me a favor. Patrice, give me, do me a favor. Listen, I need you to fucking go in there, strangle Artie. <laughs> Here's what I want you to do. I want you to pretend you're quitting this show. <laughs> Say sorry to Howard and then murder his daughter. What? <laughs> what? It's like, that's why it seems like we're being pussies because we don't have the venom. I that don't see it as being pussies. No, yeah, and we're, and just, we're just fucking with you. We but, understand But you know what I'm saying? But, but the, the listeners could be like, I got a big mouth. Bill got a big mouth. But it's like, we're like, yeah. Ah, ah, yeah. Pizza. Nice music. Nice mix. Yeah. Vagina. Yeah. Vagina. <laughs> I love that part. But it's like the vi- your motherfuckers hate him. No, so it's like the we, shit he pulled, dude. We're I'll on never your side it. just because we're on your side. We're still we're we're having fun. We're saving wearing hair on the microphones that you two got. It's not a problem. That's right. <laughs> 
I could have slept till like fucking yeah. 30. Bill Burr could have fucking just slept. Got to in. I didn't even need to come in today. All right, here we go. The I'm going to be at the stress factory. I'm just going to do my plug and go home. Here you go. Here's the next. Emily Stern. Somehow I don't see you guys getting tired of this. Usually if there's a couple of shit ones, then they, no, you guys will be like, you know what? I don't think that one, that one wasn't yeah, that bad. I think the bit's still dead. The bit's over. <laughs> we listened to 20 of them, and probably five of these we probably should have said no to, but fuck it. Uh, the next one is from Big Ass Member, the Emily Stern remix. Damn. Sexual. Of course. Spiritual. Spiritual. Sexual. Oh, preach. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Oh, that is heartless. That is just... That performance is fucking... Isn't it horrible? And you didn't see it, but you just... It emanates... You can picture you it. You just picture you how feel it. fucking not... Like Bill said, the flop sweat. You could just feel that act that she's doing just flopping. You bombing. know what you're doing? You're, you're waiting for someone else in the crowd to leave so you don't feel like the asshole. Right. Right. Oh, boy. Oh, f- we got two more to go. We're almost there. <laughs> Halfway through that, you're looking at the person you're with like, uh, you want to get out of here? Ah, uh, yeah. This Vagina. This Vagina. Is, uh, this is premarital sex. Another remix. Mm-hmm. He's got a couple in here today. Uh, the Emily Stern remix. <laughs> Hoo-hoo. Very uh, obvious and to the point. No, man, I'm I'm pretty fucking far from okay. <laughs> Robin. Uh, first of all, no one needs to know about this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you are fucking up, buddy. The last one for today. <laughs> the last one for, last today. one for today. All right. Because personally, I think the pests can do better. Yes. The I audio is up on opianthony.com, and we'll look forward to hearing more of your remixes. Yeah. This is the ghost of Fatty Arbuckle. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I learned so much. God, that was pretty good. Oh my God, damn. Jesus. There you uh, go. All right. There you go. <laughs> that was good. No, that was. And then we're back. That was good. <laughs> no, nothing wrong with uh, with that. <laughs> Look at Opie just slap it down like ah, my baby. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Listeners did us good today. We're proud of you. Very proud. But I think they could do better. A little better. A little better, I'm thinking. All right. Ah. <laughs> Just let that sink in a little bit. Just let, let it sink in. Let's say hi to Ben's raw ass. Ben's raw ass, what's up? Hey, boys. Uh, I just wanted to say, like, not, really not on the same topic, but the uh, the whole, you, there's a free paper out here called the Long Island Press. I don't know if you guys read it. Uh, there's a whole article about you boys and about Stern. And for all the other people who want to play along, there's uh, LongIslandPress.com. The whole article's up there, too. So. Ooh. Yeah, the article's pretty good, but the guy got a bunch of facts wrong, unfortunately. But that's what happens in every article we do. Yeah, but he kind of gave you guys props. No, it's a, it's a good article, definitely. It's definitely a good article. All right, cool. Punch it out, man. Thanks. All right. I guess uh, they threw us on the cover, too. There's some yeah. kind of like cartoon character thing on the, on the cover. So, How long is that going to be out there, by the way? Probably a month. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, in the article Maybe it says that weeks. I come from like a large Italian, uh, Italian Irish family. Yeah, that's just a minor point. But then, Aye. then he talks about how uh, oh, this is too inside, I guess. But uh, how Infinity Broadcast was going to throw us back on the air after the St. Pat's thing if we no. agreed to uh, the stipulation that we don't talk about Howard or any 
current or past Infinity employees. That isn't right. That, no, they want us to sign that so we can work for another work company. Anywhere else. To work anywhere else. Yeah, they didn't want us working for them again. If we signed that piece of paper, then they would let us out of the contract. Right. Not to put us back on the air with them. Right. That's kind of a, a big uh, detail that he missed. Very. So. But besides that, the article's pretty good. It's good to read. All right, we'll take a break. We got Patrice O'Neill in studio and Bill Burr. Bill, you uh, promoting anything? Um. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be at, uh, what wow, is it? Why are you the, pointing? The, the, the stress factory, because I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay. I was reading your uh, your big article in the uh, oh, Long know. Island Times Journal that <laughs> Jesus I get delivered to my apartment every day. It's 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 non-fiction. It's a novel. Holy shit. Yeah, I, know. I know. This is uh, very long. Yeah, we've, yeah, I'm going to be at the stress factory. We've yeah. fallen down a few rungs, by the way. We used to have <laughs> fucking huge articles and much bigger publications. <laughs> you know, you got to start. Be honest, dear. See, you got to start climbing that ladder somewhere. Oh. We're, we're now taking those uh, interview requests we used to say no to. Yeah, sure. Uh, what time? When can you be here? We'll be here. We'll wait. We'll wait for you. Yeah, yeah sure. We'll wait for you. <laughs> Are you showing up? There was a time we could pick and choose our articles. Now it's like. What you anyone who wants to interview? You work. Yeah. You, you write for a college newspaper? Sure, sure. Yeah. We'll be here. <laughs> We're the worst. Um, you have a blog. <laughs> We're willing yeah. to do blog interviews. Uh, How many people sure. check out your blog every day? Ah, uh, hundred. Oh, okay, sure. Right. Just a lot of hits. A lot we'll of hits that. a day. Um, <laughs> it's worth it. The church. Hi, this is Jim from the Church Street International Pamphlet. <laughs> right. I was wondering if we could interview. <laughs> is that a one-fold or a two-fold <laughs> pamphlet? Because we only do two-fold yeah, pamphlets. So it's either the, the world famous or the international. That's when you know yeah. nobody's ever yeah. heard of it. The world famous. We'll even do interviews for publications that have staples to keep their oh. <laughs> paper together. Oh, oh, what? You mean a staple in the upper corner? <laughs> like like this one? Like like just right. a... Yeah, a, a staple, staple in the upper left corner. If that's yeah, <laughs> if you use a staple, a stapler for your right. articles and and those and those Jesus um pan, those Jesus things. And <laughs> yeah, well, that, that homeless say. paper. <laughs> People say no thank you to an article. Is it? Yeah, no, nah, no, thanks. A, no, no thanks, man. No, no, no. It's a, it's the no, it's the it's the, it's the Church Street International uh, pamphlet. Yeah, no, pamphlet no, 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 and no. newsletter. Uh, no, no, <laughs> news, no, no, the news. It's a newsletter. <laughs> oh crap. Uh, All right, we'll go to break and uh, <laughs> and we'll continue. What do you got? Ah, uh, nah, nah. We'll just go over to Derek. Thanks, Derek. Hey, the tool never hurt anyone. We're back to the old I day program. <laughs> Gonna be tough with the music though. Um, <laughs> yeah, hey gotcha. now, Bill Burns, Studio Patrice O'Neill. Want to say hi to Dirty Landscaper? Dirty Landscaper, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Hey, man. I just called to say thank you guys. I fucking love you. I've been fucking pushing snow for three days. These dirty motherfuckers that called at the last minute to get these jobs done are unbelievable. I'm so tired, but if it wasn't for you guys, Norton, your antics, I love you, man. Norton. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it, guys. I'm punching out. You guys have a great week. You, Dude, you punch out, my Dude, friend. Yeah, you Dude. might need a good night's sleep. Dude, <laughs> yeah, I you know. might. I'm actually a friend to keep the cops. And, uh, All right. Well, know, I, 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 once in a while, I think about calling, you know, to say hi and punching in, but, you know, I don't want to ball the years, you know. Dude, this is Jimmy, man. I, I thank you, man. <laughs> I just one. hung up. <laughs> we interrupt this program to bring you. Sighting of the day. Whoa, we haven't had one of these in a while. Let's say hi to Brian in Washington. Brian, what's up? What's going on, fellas? Hey, Brian. Hey, guy, I'm a repo, dude. I just had a midget sight. Actually, I repo the fucking midget's car, man. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm pulling off with the fucking car, I see this little person at the fucking hot dog stand. <laughs> this fucking guy's running to me. I act like I don't see him. I'm pulling off. This motherfucking little midget hand is beating on my fucking window, man. It was just unfucking believable. Dude, did you tow it or drive it away? Oh, no, I towed it. I, towed, oh. I let him get his shit out of the car and his handicap. Pass and I said, uh, "What's happening? You a little short on your payment." You just <laughs> short on your payment. <laughs> Does he have That's like funny. Long, long pedals and shit? Yeah, are the pedals. Uh, actually, it was a fucking um, Prius. The guy was about he was about four three. He was he wasn't he wasn't a midget midget, but he, man, it was funny. Oh, uh, that's really wow. Good. Thank you, Brian. Hey, no problem, guys. You uh, rock. All right. Meanwhile, back at the show. Does he uh, understand? He made a joke. 
I, I don't know. Was Sometimes. he trying to make a joke, or was he just saying he was uh, a little no, short on his pants? No, he was trying to make a joke. He was? Yeah, All right. yeah. He definitely tried to make yeah. a little short on his pants. A little short on there his pants. There is payments. no coincidence That's like funny. that in the world. But it boom. You know, this is something. Black people, we never sound good, like, doing a timing joke. It's so hard. It's like, what was your little short on your payment? Splat out. It's like, hey, yo. Splat out. He got to go back home and then go, yo, what was that for? Fucking showing on the payment. That shit was corny, yo. That's my. Like, the fuck is up with that corny shit? Yo, I was just having fun on Opie and Anthony. Shut the fuck up, yo. So why are you Short listening to paint. them? Yeah. <laughs> Listen to them crackers. Racist motherfucker. Hey, uh, Bill, Las Vegas, what's up? Bill. Hey, I wanted to, I wanted to ask Patrice a question. I've heard his friends, meeting Norton, et cetera. Uh, talk about him burning bridges all the time. I was wondering if you wanted to elaborate on that. Yeah, I burn. It, it's it's look. It's it's a um, it's uh <laughs> it's, it's sometimes it's a mistake. Sometimes it's not. Like uh, I burn one with Spike Lee. And uh, oh, I, that ain't a uh, bad bridge to burn. That I, oh. I fuck that, but it was like it burned itself. It's like sometimes I walk away. I have toilet paper shoes, self burning bridge. <laughs> yeah, and somebody's a, it's a toilet paper bridge. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 match match sneakers and fucking you know. And it's like here's sometimes now here's one that's not my fault. You fucking tell me now. We in show business. Spy, he wanted me to come uh, read audition for the show or for the show you had on on Showtime. Now, Showtime was the people I did when I first did my first half hour special. I, these motherfuckers offered me a deal, right? Said I was good. And then they said, you know what? We're going to take the deal away. And not only are we going to take it away, we're going to tell you, you'll never be a leading man in this business. You stink. So I said, fuck you, right? So he did that on Showtime. So he said, I want you to come out. He, he, he was a fan of mine. I want you to come out and, and read for this part on Showtime, I said, man, I can't do that. I can't come out and audition for Showtime. I tell you what, audition everybody you want. If I fucking, if you don't find them, then I'll come out. He goes, nah, do it, man, do it. I go, I can't. I said, first of all, though, why are you calling me? Like, you don't fucking call me to tell me to do that. He, he, it's like he called my agents, then he called me to say, hey, man, your agent said you're not going to do it. I go, Spike, what? You don't fucking call me. Like, you don't call me on the fucking phone. Wait, wait. Spike, you don't call me? Like, because I, I can't say no to Spike. Like, No, he's not. He's not. Like, how it works yeah. is even <laughs> though he's Spike Lee, the proper channels you're supposed to take is you're supposed to, like, the agent's supposed to be the bad guy. <laughs> so so when Patrice goes, listen, I can't do it, just tell it, then the agent's got to be like, okay, i got to call Spike Lee. Yeah, Patrice doesn't want to do it. So he's just sitting in his house eating, you know, fucking chilling out, watching TV, and all of a sudden the phone rings. And probably Sp probably thinks it, me. it's Voss or whatever. <laughs> and all of a sudden it's like, hey, it's Spike Lee. He's like, hey, it's Spike. What's up, man? Yeah, I talk to your agent. I'm like, you cannot fucking call me. you like if, if you go if steven spielberg calls your house and he goes hey listen i want you to do this movie um you're gonna do it for free and i'm gonna make you look like a fucking idiot and you go well S steve you know what you say yes thank you sir for calling no no it's fuck you spielberg. Don't, nigga. if not if you're in the business and it's this is my problem spielberg i think or i'm in the Spike business Lee. that's what happened <laughs> and so oh, in okay. a nutshell i guess that's why i burn bridges because i think i'm in the <laughs> fucking business <laughs> so i tell spike don't call me call my people that and and he goes i and I never heard from him. That was the last <laughs> thing you heard from Spike Lee was, I, 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 I could love Spike Lee if he hung up and be like, did the 18th lead in my movie just say, call my people? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Spike Lee calling me directly. And he, he gave me three things that I made the most money I ever made in my life. The end, the, the, the not the end, the cut, the uh, uh, 25th hour. This is how he gave me the role. He goes... He he was interviewing me. He goes, you like the Knicks? I go, nah, the Celtics. He goes, all right, yeah. And that's how he gave me the fucking role in 25th hour. He said, I got a he got a, I got a voice uh, over for you. you. You want it? Yeah, thousands of fucking dollars, right? I'm sitting there shaking in my don't balls, call me. going, why Spike? I there's a there's a story behind this. I don't want to do this. It has nothing to do with you. Now nah, do it for me. Do it for me. That's when you do the favor for the guy who is entrenched in the business. You yeah. do a favor for okay, him. Hey, motherfuckers! <laughs> it's all right. Now I know, bitches. 
<laughs> but that's one. Get Spike on the phone. We'll work this out for that's you. That's one of 10,000 yeah. fucking bridge burning. So, so it's not like bridge burning. It's more just bad decision. Like, okay. And one three of the, weeks later going, wait a minute. What, what did I do? One of the big reasons comics hate me and I don't care, mm. but I just do it. And Bill, Bill suffered a couple of ones uh, because we... <laughs> oh, I know this one. It's going over. You don't get the fuck off the I stage. I just go over and fucking... I just... Last week, DC... I, I came out of retirement, went down to the strip, did went over my time. DC Benny just comes up to me and goes, what did I ever fucking do to you? Oh. <laughs> oh, and he is the worst when he goes over because... He he either acts like he has no idea or he just completely denies it. <laughs> it's like Patrice, Who, me? do seven minutes and he comes off thirty two minutes later and you're like, Patrice, you just did a fucking half hour. And he goes, That was a half hour? No, it's a half hour. I did a half hour. <laughs> Bill, for real. That was a half hour acting like he's completely flabbergasted. You know me you know the time better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> See the light and then like fucking turning it on and yeah. off. They're cutting out the mic. Man, it was eight thousand people in the theater. All those lighters and shit. I didn't know what the light was. We, I went uh, over Lincoln Center. The, 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 the back joke like, of fucking the, God. the joke about Patrice is like whatever amount of time he's supposed to do, that's how long his closing bit's gonna be. So oh, you say shit. Patrice, do twenty minutes. That means he's gonna do about like you know probably like seventeen, eighteen before he gets into his twenty minute closing pussy. Bet. Joke or whatever the fuck. And then I nod my head like I'm finishing up. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, that I see it. Yeah, I see the uh, light. I do see it. <laughs> hey, we got Bill from Pal Talk. He has an urgent communique to Anthony. Yes, Bill. Everybody, yeah. Everybody, turn on sex by girl. She's flashing. She's friggin' retard. Just flashing. Yeah, I, I, what's going on? People have told me to pull this woman's <laughs> camera up. All right, and I've pulled it up. And I don't know, she appears to, I, look, I don't know what's going on there, but she apparently is flashing, and uh, it's, on, it's on Pal Talk, so, you know, there's a few hundred people in this room checking her out, but she doesn't seem right. Oh, my God. Is that Big Mama there? She looks like Terry yeah. Schiavo if she lived. <laughs> right. Oh, shit. And she was just flashing. What, were you guys getting her to flash? Yeah, she's, uh, she's flashed a couple times. We're trying to get her to play What's in My Pants. Her vagina. Wow. That's Terry Schiavo if they could figure out how to knock her out of that silly coma she was in. Oh <laughs> Look at the difference. <laughs> <laughs> you can pop up like attractive girl and then that. <laughs> ah, life. Am it's a I, bitch. What is she I, doing? <laughs> what is she doing? What's her story? All she does is just sit there in the corner and stare at the screen, and then every <laughs> once in a while she'll stand up and show her tits. What's in the background? Is that like a wheelchair? Can some, I can't really. I see a wheelchair or some type of wheeled medical device in the background. Can can she talk? What's her deal? Oh shit! That is a wheelchair. What? She's in a nursing home. <laughs> Is she? In a, <laughs> no way. But yeah, that's a nursing home. Great. We're getting nursing home women <laughs> on our fucking webcams. She that is know. fantastic. We have her camera up, and she doesn't even know we're talking about her. How do you get her to flash? They, they've just been putting it up. Show your tits. Show your well, tits. Well, her name is Sex By Girl. Yep. Sex By Girl. So obviously she made the name for herself. Well, uh, or somebody did. Or somebody, somebody did what she accidentally logged on under that name. Someone just wrote, even her tits are cross-eyed. <laughs> uh, a, a sex spy girl, uh, show us your tits. <laughs> here she goes. All right, here she goes. Here she goes. God, she's going really slow. Oh my God, she's going really, really. All right, All right let's see. This isn't right. <laughs> oh Which one's the titties? She's doing. <laughs> what is she doing? Oh shit! I swear to God, they look like two water balloons. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> did, she have, did she have a stroke? It looks like her whole left side is fucked. Yeah, up. something's going on. It there. looks like she's got down. Jesus had a stroke. Christ! I don't know what's going on. God, why are we why are we bothering trying to be intelligent on this show? These are our listeners. Look at this. Wow. We're trying to get enough people. Who's, who's that? What's her nickname? Michelin Mary. Oh. oh, oh, hey, <laughs> hey, sex spy girl. 
Let's see that ass. No, that's all right. That's uh, that's okay. Who the hell is she? Does does anyone know who this girl is? Did she just like stumble on this room? Uh, anyone ever see her before? I haven't. No. Wow, that is something. All right, well, thanks for the heads up, I will up, say Bill. Sonny Ferrelli looks like he's going to have a stroke. He's laughing so hard. Yeah, a lot of people are cracking up. All right. I hope someone's capturing that. that that's something. Thanks, Bill. All right, thanks for pal talk, Ann. Yeah, pal talk yeah. is just yeah. another dimension of the Opie and Anthony show. Look what I've, on, look, on a daily basis. Look what I've wrought. And these uh, these rooms don't even close anymore. They're pretty much open all day. 24 hours a day, there's ONA fan rooms that have, you know, anywhere from two to 300 people in them. Yeah. They go on room raids. Yeah. Last night was an awful, awful racist night of uh, invading Martin Luther King tribute rooms. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> They actually set up a uh, Martin Luther King uh, cel celebrate the life of Martin Luther King, and it was in that like they set up a room like that and waited for people to come in, and then like someone will just pop on camera wearing a Klan hood. It was some of the most heinous hysterical shit. Uh, that girl is now taking her pants off. Oh no. Really? Oh, my pop God. It up. She can barely stand. She's going to oh fall over. Oh, my God. She's going to fall over. Oh, my God. She Yeah, it looks like her left side is not um, working. Yeah, so she's having a tough and time she's pulling, pulling her, her pants Whoa. down. She just fell. She just fell on her no. face. What? No, she can't. Did she fall? She spit. <laughs> Oh, oh no! <laughs> yes! There you go, Bumper. She's bending over. She's got her ass right on cam. Bare ass on her knees. Oh! Oh, oh she's just crawling around like a fucking seal. Oh my god, that isn't right. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. God bless her for being such a trooper. <laughs> Holy God. Oh, that was the hardest. Uh, that was the most difficult doggy style getting into. <laughs> this <laughs> is amongst the worst stuff I've needed, ever been involved in. Those rehabilitation poles <laughs> getting the doggy style. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I can't <laughs> Welcome back to the program, by the way. <laughs> oh, those oh par those parallel bar things that you want. Yeah. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Oh, fuck. I see the awful, terrible things. <laughs> All right, we'll move on that was here. good. They always want to be... They're treated. having fun at uh, on Pal Talk once again today. Very good, Bill. I understand what you're wearing. Yeah, you're going going what you say? Welcome treated back normal. to the show. <laughs> yeah, <You're an> <laughs> I certainly did. You <laughs> Welcome back to the show. <laughs> oh, I didn't get that. You look like an hour off there on us. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I went to take a bit of what a You play an hour and a half with Emily Stern. Oh, God. I'm just helping you out to make sure that you had nothing to do with that thing. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> wow. my job. Don't you get it yet? Oh, you funny, man. Hey, we got uh, audio of the mayor of New Orleans. This is pretty good. He's uh, blaming God and stuff on the hurricanes. Oh, shit. Oh boy! Blaming God? Oh yeah, he's mm -hmm. doing a whole God thing and Man. and says, uh, "What does he say about New Orleans? How it's going to stay chocolate or something? What was that one quote again? Oh, that's going to kill tourism. If you blame God for a natural disaster, you can't really blame him for the ones that you can track for like three weeks straight. <laughs> right? Like here it comes. <laughs> ah, that's like here it comes. Oh God. God! Can you just give a nigga a break and just let him blame God instead of going, yeah, yeah, God wouldn't. Yeah, there you go. I'm sure God. I'm sure Noah had a six week warning before <laughs> earthquake, tsunami, <laughs> things like that. You can blame God when when you got fucking every weatherman on every channel going. This will be over your house uh, in a week. Right. You in can't really blame God. You could blame the government officials. You could blame the people that didn't leave. You could blame the president. You could blame God. You got to leave blame God the out fact of it. that you live right in the Gulf of Mexico. Right. In the Gulf of Mexico. Or like in what would oh, yeah. be the. Yeah. In what's supposed to be a part of the Gulf of Mexico. All right. Well, here's his clip. It's uh, very controversial today. A lot of people talk about this as well. As we think about rebuilding New Orleans, John surely God is mad at America. He's sending hurricane after hurricane after hurricane. And it's destroying and putting stress on this country. Surely he's not 
approval of us being in Iraq under false pretenses. Holy shit! This all right, he lost his mind. All right, no, I'm, I'm, I'm giving him all the this sympathy can't be real. he needs. He lost his mind. He had a nervous breakdown and That's lost the his mayor? fucking mind. That's that is the, mayor the mayor of New Orleans. The, the pressure got to him. Yeah. When he first, remember when he first came on camera? When we first knew who this guy was? Because no one knew him from a hole in the wall. And then the hurricane, and you saw him talking, and you're like, all right, this is the mayor. Something's a little wacky about him, but he's the mayor. They voted him in. Now, I haven't seen him in a while. We see him now. Lost his fucking mind. Right. Completely insane. He's lost his mind. And wouldn't God want us to go into Iraq? <laughs> Our God would. Wouldn't that be God's enemy that we're fighting? Yes. <laughs> like, wouldn't God want the entire stage to himself? <laughs> oh, be the real God. Yes. yes. The real God. The real God wants us there. Uh, right. Not any of the he fake He doesn't want God anyone that confused worship. that there may be some other higher being. No. So he would like us uh, to do his dirty work. To go work. in and destroy their God? Their stupid <laughs> yeah, fake would. God. Uh, this is what kills. This was this. I never agree. This is why it, God just. I was watching the, that 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 Passion of Christ, and I'm just like, you know, why do people think God plays these games? Like, why does why does God do these these lesson things? Like, it's and just tests and kill the motherfucker who's evil. Like, what is <laughs> just boop? You dead, nigga. You dead. But it's like yeah, this this game play. It's like no God didn't gotta go, go through us. Attack this and destroy that and it, it, what? Give him some like more respect than he. Yeah, I hate he, religion. He, uh, oh, religion's the worst. Like, like I, God I is a watched, jokester. I watched the Seven Hundred Club. I was on the road, and I'm like, I'm gonna watch this. I'll probably get a bit out of it. And I just, I watched it for twenty minutes, and they had me scared shitless that I was going to hell. They had some guy. That's how it worked. They had some guy who fell off a motorcycle. And we go, we're going to be talking to Daryl in a few minutes, who was unconscious and went to hell. Hear what that was like. I guess like <laughs> after the oh, yeah, especially like yes. he died for a few minutes and went to some scary place and then came back. Came and back. Like, oh, and yeah. After we sell you, that fixed him up. Oh, yeah. And, and, then, and then, and then they basically show how these two people who had no fucking money but then sent them 20 bucks are now completely out of debt. So, yeah. Only that same half hour. So, if you send. I've seen ads for the anointed... <laughs> cloth like i saw some couple and they were selling this anointed <coughs> cloth that if you get it you know and then they had testimony from these people that said i put it on my neck and my neck pain went away and it was great and my god i can't believe it I, my wrist used to hurt me for about two years i got the anointed cloth i put it on there and now i could do everything i could slap my wife again and it was like Praise 20 Jesus. bucks for this anointed cloth and i'm watching going who who is who is buying into this Who's buying into this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, a shitload of people. Billions of motherfuckers. Right. Benny, shitload Benny of Hen. Yeah. Fucking, you know, uh, uh, T.D. Jakes. Millions of motherfuckers go to see them every year. Right. Talk that God shit. Yeah. And people are horrified. But I don't think God is this trivial dude that wants you to disco dance for him and throw money and just no. he's sitting up there. Look at these motherfuckers. They're on my dick. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, no. God is not this dude, man. You don't stop. That's the evil shit. Not the evil shit, but that's the shit that gets you in trouble is going, God is going to punish America. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, mad like at you. He's, okay, all right, ready? The, the God Almighty is going to punish America, right? This evil country, right? But he's just waiting for the proper time. He's going to send signals first yeah. so that the good people leave. Is that they it? gonna understand. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna send a message in. Uh, and all these other countries are all so nice. Like in Mexico, there's all these little, you know, all the, all the uh, politicians. They're all on the level. There's yeah, no yeah. Down there, yeah. Only, nothing going. Only we're evil. The fucking worst. The the, mo the most lo loving God countries are the ones that get fucked up. Yeah. The most godly. Co Iran. For a, a 9.0 earthquake, everybody died praying. They their were praying whole, to die. That's their all, yeah. whole existence is, existence is based on their religion, their, their government, God. the the work they go to, their daily schedule, all based on their God. That's they hate money. They hate this yeah. and that. The, this earthly shit, and but America, e the evil empire, yeah. rrr, we're gonna destroy it. But systematically, we just going just little thing here, little Send thing there, a little, storm. Little, little message. What, like that's that's trivializing the power. If you believe in God, that's trivializing His power. It, it, nigga, he can take, he can fart, 
and destroy the world. <laughs> How about that? He can just stop gravity. All right. right. You know what? Gravity doesn't exist. Boop, we all, all float, float off. Then we'll stop gravity back up. Just like a guy. <laughs> that would solve a lot just of over, <laughs> Just over America. <laughs> no, you know what you do? Let's see. We'll stop he, he, gravity for 60 seconds. <laughs> yeah, and let all, everybody go up. Boom, and, then, the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> and then we fall back down. The ones that were smart enough to be in a house, they live. All right. Let's uh, go to Robert in New Orleans. He, he's uh, saying the mayor is out of his mind. Robert? Yeah, what's up, man? Hey. Hey, this nutbag here. He was fine for the storm, but goddamn, after the storm, he's lost his fucking mind. I, yeah, he's a crazy person. Now. I agree. He, yeah, he's sitting here blaming uh, God and everything. He's the one that let over 200 school buses and all the regional transit buses go on the water instead of using them to get out the city. Let's blame him. Blame himself. Well, there perhaps is a little guilt in there, and that's why well, he's blaming God. Yeah, let's not go that far. He's yeah. black. Don't blame he him. He might feel it. No, I can't, can't blame blame him. You can't fully blame black people. Right, Mike, I'm 50% blame. Mike, Mike hey. I'm hey, hey. Blame discount. Hey, you guys got to talk about the, the bottled miracle spring water they sell on uh, on Sunday mornings on, like, FX or one of them channels like that. They sell bottled miracle water. Yeah, I've seen that. Can we get some of that audio yeah. for the show? Right that down is the rock. worst. Freaking stuff! I can't believe that these people. Guys, got to tape some uh, some Sunday morning shit. Watch it out, guys. All right, yeah, tape the stuff where with the all not the just movies. the rambling droning guys, the, the real flamboyant, over the top selling shit guys. You remember that, that other guy, the uh, make a pledge for Jesus. He tried to get you put your hand on the screen. Make oh, a pledge! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm watching it for like a fucking hour, trying to figure out what it is, and you basically send him money, and then he'll with, with the prayer, and then he tells Jesus what you want. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's go, got the direct yeah. line. You got to go through him. He's, he's got like a the token. operator. We got Token Jew. He's yeah. very mad at us. Token Jew, what's up? What's happening? Hey. All right, sir. So, when was the last time you guys were back in Tehran? It sounds like you're pretty knowledgeable on what's going on back there. What in Tehran? Yeah, in Tehran. They're they're pretty um I don't know, pretty fundamentalist over there. They are, but just like you know, back there we can't believe everything the news says. Man, you can't believe everything here the news says about what's going on there. I do know that the <laughs> Iranian government is, um, yeah, pretty nasty. I know the leader that I don't even watch news, and I know that motherfucker wants to have Jew sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> that was everything wrong with that. Come on now. Jew sandwiches. Come on. I like some fried <laughs> Jew, please. Yeah. That motherfucker has made it clear. I am going to fucking, I want to kill Jews. We want it wiped exactly. off. They've made it pretty clear that they're not exactly too, you know, too happy with us. And they've got nukes out the ass. You've got Pakistan and India that's got nukes out the ass, and they're both psychotic. Yeah, but Holy they can't God, reach here. Yeah, exactly. We, we, we never said that they can't weren't. Reach here yet. They can't reach nah, here. Nah. Yeah, they're not. They can't reach the U.S., but they sure as shit could tag Iran, which just happened to be next door. Yeah, so what's cares. Up with Iran trying to protect themselves. Come on, Kids man. Kids shit. All right. Let them blow each other up. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing. Right, here's but the that thing. wasn't even the point we were making, were we? Nah. But we were just saying that they pray a lot over there. That's what I'm yeah. saying, that those countries... That guy didn't make his point. Yeah, those fucking nuclear weapons. Well, it, the Buddhist thing. And then the, it's like, you know what? You can't believe God. You can't. This is the thing. You, it, it, Pakistan and India, you can't believe God wants you to fight over that goofy country, uh, the sweater. Kashmir. You can't, you can't believe that. You can't believe this is some, some holy shit just, that, that you're fighting over this goofy little country. Same thing with Israel and Jerusalem. Stop! Man. Same thing. Fucking stop! You know God wants you to fight over this. Are you this. joking me? That could be like that Florida. Yeah, right. You ever see the prayers that the, the soldiers say when they leave? You know, whatever gets you through the battle, but it's, you know, God, please confuse our enemy, um, make us safe, uh, make the enemy uh, not see us, confuse them, get us through the mission. and So we can kill them. Yeah, like like God is going, all right, I hear you. Mm -hmm. I'll, you know, pull in some Jedi mind shit on the Iraqis. I'm over here. <laughs> and, the, and then while our convoy goes by, the Iraqis go, like, what was that? What? They turn their head and look the other way. And, God made and, a, sound. And, and according to life, everybody's got, God does exist because sometimes everybody wins. You know, the insurgents yeah. get a, kill one of us, they we kill one pissed. of them. So it's like, yeah. thanks, my Lord, and thanks, your Lord, and yeah. thanks, my Lord, thanks, your, good, good, good one, your Lord, good <laughs> one, my Lord. It, it, it's like, stop making this shit trivial, dude. It's, it's bigger it's than... 
You should pray to Satan before you go into battle. <laughs> you probably, probably have some better plans. <laughs> some nice, like, real Satan. evilness. <laughs> Satan, do what you do. Satan, yeah. let our weapons pulverize these people into forms that will Satan, haunt give, my nightmares. Give me some ideas. <laughs> Turn sand into ants. <laughs> I got, I got, I got one bullet left and a knife. Give these me guys ideas. M60. Give me some ideas. Satan, I, I request from you a wall of fire that will burn my enemy <laughs> to rise from the desert floor. <laughs> Satan, I could use them wings and horns right now for you to fly into someone's ass. Satan, uh, I'm low on men. I could really use an army of the undead uh, to you... walk the earth. <laughs> Satan, please conjure up a couple of jackal-like creatures and the rock jackal. to come. <laughs> and a mummy. Can I you conjure them. up a mummy and some jackals, please? Devour my enemies, leaving only their genitals strewn across. The desert Can floor. you conjure up a five-headed dog and a, a bitch that turns you into stone and a, something with a snake? <laughs> something with a snake. Something evil with a the snake. The hell headed serpent. The hell's the hell. The hell's the hell. A five-headed. That's the kind of that would scare the shit out of the enemy. Yeah. All right, let's get back to this audio. It's the mayor of New Orleans. God damn. Start this over because it gets to the Chocolate City thing. All right. That's the highlight of the crazy mayor. As we think about rebuilding New Orleans, surely God is mad at America. He's sending hurricane after hurricane after hurricane, and it's destroying and putting stress on this country. Surely he's not. Approval of us being in Iraq Approval. under false pretenses. Go ahead. But surely he is upset at black America also. Mm, we're not know. taking care of ourselves. Now we we're not taking crazy. care of our women. And we're not taking care of our children. When you I have, have a, a good community example of this. <laughs> where seventy percent of his children are being born to one parent. We as black people, it's time. It's uh -oh. time for us to come together. That's what I've been talking about. It's time for us to rebuild a New Orleans. Well, I'm buying the one guns. That should yep. be a chocolate Here it comes, New the Orleans. announcement. <laughs> right, and I don't care. A chocolate New Orleans. <laughs> the line, yeah. Sorry. I'm just, I'm getting nervous. I'm hearing the speech that I've always run through in my head. Black man, everyone go and get your... Katrina's wink wink <laughs> and do a category six on some cracker skull. Wait, wait, Patrice, what was that fucking code word from Hotel Rwanda over the radio? Did you see Hotel Rwanda? Oh, god damn, was that good. <laughs> but, but the, over the radio, when the Hutu and the Tutsi, uh, were fighting, uh, I guess the, uh, the, the Hutu had the secret code word that went over the radio that let them know, all right, Get your machetes and start fucking hacking. Stop hacking. Oh, oh, bro, you gotta see it. Don Cheadle is great, fantastic. He is one of the most underrated actors. He's not underrated. I don't think anymore. he's underrated. I think he is. Absolutely. I not. say he is. He's rated exactly where he should be rated. Really? Yes. He's not underrated. He's not underrated anymore. No way. He he should be in more shit. He has a lot of shit. Leading roles? Fuck him. Uh, who who the, says he's, he's not a good actor? He's doing the big, NFL. He's doing the no. big NFL commercial <laughs> right now. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Ocean's 12, Ocean's 11. He's I always fuck him. Fuck him then. Let him get overexposed. <laughs> right, here we go. Here's the line about here's the line about chocolate. You city. really lost on that one, Anthony. I, I, so like, no, I don't think so. I think he's here right where go. he should be. That was like the fucking rich boss and that actress. Huh? Uh, uh, that uh, we had on the phone and saying that she was underrated and she turns out she was going to oh, be yeah, in a pretty big blockbuster movie. Uh, that's right. <laughs> oh, God, I sounded like Vox. Here's, chocolate, here's the chocolate city thing. That should be a chocolate New Orleans. Delicious. And I don't care what people are saying, <laughs> uptown or wherever they are. This city will be chocolate at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh-oh. P-Funk. This city will be a majority African-American city. Mm. It's the way God wants it to be. You can't have New Orleans no other way. Fuck the crap. It wouldn't be New Orleans. Flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, he's lost his It mind. is time to cut down the tall trees. 
It is time to cut down the tall trees. <laughs> that was the word, man. That was the code. <laughs> oh, the word went out, and that was it. La da da dee da Machetes. Da da da. <laughs> what was that thing they used to do in South Africa, where they take the tire and put it around somebody? They beat somebody fucking senseless in the street. Oh. Have them sitting there, put a tire around their neck with gasoline in light it, it on and light that bitch on fire. A flaming tire around your and neck. There's nothing you can do. And it was do. called something. It was like a something a neck flaming, tire. A flaming tire. Some flaming tire. <laughs> yeah, flaming tire for these bartenders. <laughs> Bar key. Uh, the flaming tire around the neck thing. <laughs> That's my guess. Flaming tire. Some Zambuca. Uh, Kahlua. A Zambuca. <laughs> Give me a flaming. Some it's a Zambuca. <laughs> it was called a flaming tire. <laughs> flaming tire. We're all out of Zambuca. Ah, shit. Well, add a Watusi. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, top it off with a flaming, uh, cut down the uh, tall tree. Put that tall tree umbrella, whatever you need, oh, broccoli. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, the mayor loses his mind. Uh, There's nothing really to say there. Why but, is he losing the, his mind? He's just, he's just he's losing pressure. his job. Yeah. yeah so now what he's trying to do is uh, rally black people around him. Mike. Everyone has fucked up in that situation, and they should all just get the boot. Mike and Clinton. Everyone. Mike? Governor, all of them. Hi, sir. Hey, how you doing, guys? All right. Mike sees it the Patrice, other way here. Happy birthday, Patrice. Listen, I, I just, <laughs> you know, America has a way. Every, he says that God is mad at America. God has a way of cleaning up his own mess. Look at the tsunami. All the prostitutions, the little kids over there getting raped and fucked in the ass. He finally went over there and said, flatten them. But he killed them, too. Yeah, he killed yeah. all the little so innocent kids too? that... Well, that's so they don't have to suffer. Oh, well, okay. they would suffer if they the they would suffer if they blew away the people that were fucking him in the ass. They, well, then they will what... stop suffering. Well, he cleaned up the area. He cleaned it out. That's what that's what I look at. Same thing down New Orleans. New Orleans was a cesspool. He cleaned it out. Absolutely amazing. And people I'm, think and this I'm telling you, this this mayor, he should just it, shut it his mouth. Me. He, wants a black, he wants a black America is because that's the only way he got voted in there. Sir, that's what it I, is. Think, I think nature has a way of uh, you know. Taking care of itself, but you can't start. You don't think it has anything God. to do with the fact that those cities were near the ocean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, that's what he does. He goes in and he just cleans out America. What about the the cities that are fucked up that are landlocked? Well, that that's when the Americans go in and we clean them out. Why? No, no. In oh the United God. States, religion and militia mixes. Yeah. For for wonderful. <laughs> what about like <laughs> evilness in Montana? I don't know. How is that? <laughs> you know what? I don't know. 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 I'm just speaking on these gooks and evil. <laughs> evil people always live near the beach. God's plan. I don't know. All right, you're not ready for crossfire yet. <laughs> I don't know, Montana. Ah, well, well, knows. That is refreshing. Uh, you don't get to hear that enough. Yeah, no. like he, God bless that guy for saying that. Even think There's someone he giving up. Ah, oh, you got me. I'm trying to hide it. Nah, <laughs> you're not ready for Sunday morning TV. <laughs> Keep practicing. Oh, fucking God, God punish. That's what he did. I would love to hear that on TV though, instead of this horseshit they throw at each other. Well, uh, well that's a good point. What yeah, are you writing? I don't know. Writing a, yeah. writing a presidential uh, yeah. debate. Well, how are you going to balance the budget? <laughs> no one else has seen to have done it. Who asked me for? Here's my plan. Uh, uh, you know how these things work. Uh, I'm not in control of what I'm saying up here. I just look good in a suit. Oh, God. They should. God punishing. God punishes the people who pray to him. Every There's temples that are 10,000 years old with, with, with grass growing on outside of them and, mm -hmm. and evil traps so you don't take. There's a gold. Buddha inside that no one fucking steals because they're afraid of the wrath of God. Right. But, but God goes, you know what? Fuck all that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. First of all, I'm gonna start a Category 14 uh, <laughs> uh, 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 earthquake, and then I'm gonna wash these motherfuckers away. Really? Wash the children and wash them. That, Everybody. Yeah, animals. Come yeah. on, man. Stop. That's a god I don't want to pray to. Be honest with you. Come on, stop. You do that shit, shit and want to. Dude, how do you explain a church bus? <laughs> Driving down the highway, that a boulder that was sitting there that on a, a mountain top that probably saw a fucking dinosaurs walking by at some point in its life on that mountain top decides that's the moment it's going to roll down the mountain and hit a bus full of churchgoers. It's called natural and, selection. Is that what it is? It's called yes. It's God well, says. You know what? I need them. Watch this. I will push that rock now. 
people just make up shit. I think God probably looks down after everybody says all the shit he says. It's like a celebrity reading like Star Magazine going, dude, I never said that. That's, <laughs> well, never said that. That's, not, that's not even me in the picture. Uh, can we sue somebody? <laughs> like, call my agent. Say God, God is suing anybody for slander. Yeah. He's going he's gonna to come back. He's going to do this show. He's going to, I'm coming in tomorrow. Fuck that. Yeah. You know, let me explain Noah's art. Listen to me, man. That shit was blown way <laughs> out of the Here's how it really went. It was a cat. Look, it was how a the hell could I fit all that one boat? Seven at the time i was tired and i turned up the category meter by mistake <laughs> i've said this before i've admitted right no wrath i wasn't smiting i just was tired just was tired that and i fire fucked up. i was smoking i fell asleep the cigarette dropped on Kentucky. <laughs> I mean, that's like when, I always, when they always say uh, jesus is coming back it's like dude what is he waiting for how much more fucked up can it get? It's supposed to get, like, real fucked up. Where everyone's fucked up, I guess. Like, you're, you kind of, you enjoy your life pretty much? You're doing all right? Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. a typical miserable comedian, no, but I mean, you yeah. got to be all fucked up. I think everybody's got to reach a point where they're like, oh my God, I'm, all, I'm fucked up. And the last person goes, oh God, I'm fucked up. And then Jesus goes, then, ah, curtain finally, time. Right. Finally, it's time for it's me to come turn. back. Finally, Patrice is off Everyone. the goddamn stage. I can do what I have to do. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's waiting for. <laughs> Patrice, I can fucking see that red light. God, Patrice, that motherfucker. That motherfucker trying to come going, back and Patrice he's going is over. actually going to save us. He's going to just stay on stage as we get our shit together. Stay alive, Patrice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what's with this guy? Uh, hey, uh, Mike in Jersey. Go, go ahead, Mike. Jesus, I saw the light. I see it. Mike. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's up? Hey, what kind of shit would it stir up if if New York had to be evacuated and Mike Bloomberg was like, well, we have an excellent opportunity here. Uh, I think New York should be vanilla. Uh, and you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, and, well white, no, because white, you describe it anyway. White guilt would prevent that from happening. Yeah, white exactly. white guilt would prevent that from happening. Yeah. I mean, the cops would do it, but is there so many liberals? And let me, I'm going to tell you that infinitely in this city, and in the world, like we were talking about yesterday with the Clay Aiken thing, yeah. uh, the, the, the line of hatred for white people that think they're just white, mm -hmm. Jews, sissies, and then blacks. We're third on the fucking sissies. list. Black yeah. third. So they're not going to come after blacks. It's just, it's too many, it, it, they don't like Jews and don't like gays in no. this country. Well, regular white people. And that's it. That's it. Joe from Brooklyn. Joe? Wait, wait, wait. wait. You, you could always tell by American Idol voting. We oh, you figured yeah. that out yesterday. No, no, I heard it. <laughs> They'll vote a black guy. No, but when it go, comes down to straight up violence, like if we would like to start clashing, it it's would white and black. World worldwide, I wouldn't be able to speak to you, dude. Worldwide, though, we're talking worldwide. Oh, worldwide. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, worldwide. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a I thought we were talking about in, in this country. Yeah, the Jews aren't liked by the white supremacists, but the Jews don't fight. Uh, uh, gays, you're not gonna get a good fight out of gays. The blacks, you're getting a fight. When did That's Jews drop fight. out of athletics? You watch like the old classic sports. Mark like Spitz. They're like fucking doing the butterfly. <laughs> that guy was an athletic was he the Jew. Last? Yeah, what he about the last Andy, athletic Andy, Jew? Sandy Koufax. Wait a minute. During what time? Yes. During That's right. During the Munich. time when Jews decided to start going killing motherfuckers. They stopped all sports. Said enough. This is fuck this. Munich shit. Olympics. As soon as we try to wrestle, as soon as we try to fucking swim, you motherfuckers try to take advantage of us. That's Black it. people are gonna stop running soon. We're gonna stop playing sports. It's a distraction. We're gonna get the, you. The real. Except for we can't blend in with nobody. We don't have to kill motherfuckers in Africa because if we go to Europe, it's like <laughs> <laughs> there were two niggas standing outside. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Joe in Brooklyn. Joe. Hey. You know what I don't understand is that this motherfucker had to, had, you know, he's got the audacity to talk shit now. But when everybody was donating money, and, every, and you guys did a fucking fundraiser that raised, what, 50000 plus? And everybody else was doing fucking telethons and all this other shit that we, that, that, that America did to raise money. Now he's going to go on fucking TV and talk shit and say, it's a chalk with this, we don't need this, it's God punishing this one. Get the fuck out of here, this motherfucker. We got fuck window crack. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? 
<laughs> Joe from That's Brooklyn. That's the official <laughs> racist <laughs> accent. Why? That's Joe from this Brooklyn. This fucking guy over fucking here takes <laughs> all the fucking, fucking, all fucking all white guys' guy. fucking money. <laughs> all he's going to spend it on fucking <laughs> boom boxes was, down there in fucking New Orleans. Seriously, folks, how much money do we donate, you know, in general? I was talking to Fat Nick the other fucking day, and this fucking guy said, these schwarzes. You know he's you know why he's mad though it, it did, that that anger is like he had just a glimpse of like liking niggas for just to say he had some 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 nigga loving in him and he just he fell for the Katrina for right him. right and then this <laughs> shit and he's like those fucking backstabbing niggas they I fucking liked them. fooled me I liked those whack motherfuckers for a minute and look what the fuck they did look what they did they tricked me the I got my receipt for this fucking hurricane <laughs> I want my donation money back <laughs> all right <Joe. laughs> it's, totally it's, by a new, it's only 15 days old he wants his money back. He's supposed to buy a new tin fucking shack, walking around with a fucking medallion right around his fucking neck. And now this fucking mayor wants to talk about chocolate fucking city fucking. Fucking moolies over here. My nigga donation is broken. I want my money back. It doesn't fucking work. It doesn't fucking work. <laughs> you, think he, you think he wrote that on his fucking check memo, that little line? <laughs> to the fucking niggas. There you go. I give. Wait, I don't hate you this week. Because, because Katrina, you know, who the fuck is Katrina? <laughs> oh, his wife it, goes, just one? Tommy, who's Katrina? Yeah. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Angela, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Angie, what I say? What I say? What I say? <laughs> Katrina. Yeah, but what I say? <laughs> Katrina, parentheses, <laughs> wet niggas in New Orleans. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking guy. <laughs> All right, let's go to Rob on Long Island. Oh. Rob. Hey, guys. Hey. hey, I don't want to be a pest, and you could probably bash me if you want. I just, I, I'm the one who made the bit with my little brother reenacting the Jimmy Norton bit, and Opie's mentioned it twice so far, and I'm like sitting here going crazy just wondering when he's going to play it. So Yeah, we should do that now. We've been teasing this for a couple days already. And, <laughs> Thanks, and, man. And the bit's been on the Internet for like a month at least. All right, yeah, we're yeah, good. Every, every day I call, I call my brother saying, yeah, come over. You can hear yourself on the radio. The kid's only 11. And then every day it's like, nope, you can't come over today. Sorry. All right, Bob. So, we'll do it today. We'll do it right now. Thank you. All okay. right. So listen, Bye. now we're in the replay. Uh, yeah, why don't we change gears a little bit? This is really good. Uh, Norton went off on an angry uh, caller. Caller was complaining about our show, whatever. Norton, classic Norton, just went off. So what we should do is play the original. Uh, Norton going off on this call. Oh, we got this finally. Yeah. And then, uh, and then this guy got his little brother to reenact Norton's, uh, part in this call. Kid does such a good job. This is great. So why don't we play the yeah. original first? Here it is. What I'm saying is, person who I hope dies of cancer the day before a relative gets married, what type of a sket would you like to hear? And you're yeah. not being specific. You're being passive aggressive like every other faggot from that state that you live in. So will you Why please you be specific? Talk out of your mouth and talk right. Be specific. Out of your mouth. Oh, he got you there. Oh, I got a cock in my mouth. Well, it's your father. Since your mother won't suck it, I decided to lean over and toot on it a little bit. What's up with the wrist, huh? What's that? I'm in San Francisco. Sucking cock, you fat. Ooh, there we go. That's the type of skit you like, isn't it? Dirty two men talking about sucking cocks. Now we got what you like. Two men going back and forth. So tell us what you want, Kenny. Why do we just have these truck drivers calling in? You know, which I agree. They're fine. They're great callers. But we all ain't all from the fail. Oh, I know you want to. Oh, you want to sketch with a funny southern voice. That's probably the type of comedy you like. The type of thing where the funny voice is happening, or maybe the gay character comes in, hi boys, and you're like, oh, that's good, no, the guy I'm sounds having, gay. I'm having a real hard time understanding you. No, you're not, what stupid. A bad speech impairment, don't you? What's impairment? An, what, what's an impairment, you fucking idiot? I speak perfectly clearly, and you understand well, everything I'm saying. You. I've asked you for a show that you listen to. You. Let me finish, fucker. You. I've yeah, asked I'm you for something that you him. like, and you haven't been able to You're provide it. Bad about Name me one I'm show you listen to. to. Name me one That's show. What I'm listening to. I've been an XM subscriber for over a year. I don't give a shit. Cancel the service, faggot. Tell me something you listen to. Don't, you're not going to blackmail me. I'm an XM subscriber. I don't get a piece of the action, motherfucker. What do I care? Oh, shit. Don't lose a customer. I don't care if you throw your XM down the toilet, buy a Sirius, and then fuck your mother. 
<laughs> Tell me what you want to hear. Tell me what you want to hear. You're not answering the question. How about something funny? What show do you think is funny? You what? Got something funny. What you, show? Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I'm not going to wait a minute, you cocksucker. What? Just tell me to wait a minute. Comedian? Faggoty West Coast hey, caller. I want you fucking get paid to do? Yes, I get paid a lot to do this. That's the beauty of it. I don't know, and you're fucking ripping them off all the way to the bank. To oh, I'm, I'm ripping them laughing all the way to the bank, am I? You cliche slinging bucket of jism. I hope you're killed in a you drunk know, driving accident on New Year's Eve. <laughs> we want to hear some sketches with southern voices. Get behind the wheel after drinking a few and plow into a pregnant lady. How's that for a sketch? West Coast jerk off. Wah, 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 wah. So there you have it. That's the original. Damn, no. That, that is, is some original. classic James Norton right there. Yep. And then uh, Angry Jimmy. Rob on Long Island uh, got his 11-year-old brother to redo that whole thing with his with his brother doing Norton's part. Yeah. Listen to that same bit. What I'm saying is person who I hope dies of cancer the day before a relative gets married. What type of a sket would you like to hear? And you're not being specific. You're being passive aggressive like every other faggot from that state you live in. So will you please be specific? Your mouth and talk right. Be specific. Hey, out of your mouth. Oh, he got you there. Oh, I got a cock in my mouth. Well, it's your father since your mother won't suck it. I decided to lean over and toot on it a little bit. <laughs> What's that? San Francisco sucking cock, you fat. Oh, there we go. That's the type of skit you like, isn't it? Dirty two men talking about sucking cock. Now we got what you like. Two men going back and forth. So tell us what you want, Kenny. Why Why do we just have these truck drivers calling in, you know, which I agree. They're fine. They're great callers. But we all ain't all from the sale. Oh, I know you. You, you. you want a sketch with a funny southern voice. That's probably the type of comedy you like. The type of thing where the funny voice is happening or maybe the gay character comes in. Hi, boys. And you're like, <laughs> the guy sounds gay. I'm having a real hard time understanding you. No, you're not, stupid. Bad speech impairment, don't you? What's an impairment, you fucking idiot? I speak perfectly clearly and you understand everything I'm saying. Let me finish, fucker. I've asked you for something that you like and you haven't been able to provide it. Name me one show you listen to. Name me one show. What I'm listening to, I've been an XM subscriber for over a year. I don't give a shit. Cancel the service, faggot. Tell me something you listen to. You're not going to blackmail me. I'm an XM subscriber. I don't get a piece of the action, motherfucker. What do I care? Oh, shit. Don't lose a customer. I don't care if you throw your XM down the toilet, buy a Sirius, and then fuck your mother. <laughs> Tell me what you want to hear. Tell me what you want to hear. You're not answering the question. I want something funny. What show do you think is funny? I want something funny. What show? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I'm not going to wait a minute, you cocksucker. Don't tell me to wait a minute. Wait a minute. West Coast caller. Do you know what you fucking get paid to do? Yes. I get paid a lot to do this. That's the beauty of it. I don't know. And you're fucking ripping them off all the way to the bank. Oh, I'm laughing all the way to the bank, am I? You cliche slinging bucket of jism. I hope you're killed in a drunk driving accident on New Year's Eve. We want to hear some sketches with southern voices. Get behind the wheel after drinking a few and plow into a pregnant lady. How's that for a sketch, West Coast jerk off? Wah 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there That's you go. Genius, dude. That's great, Rob. Oh my God. <laughs> Rob and your brother, so whoever his name is. Very good job. There's something when kids curse, it's that much funnier. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, cursing okay. little children. We encourage people to send in their kids cursing. I don't know what happened with that bit. Yeah, what did happen? Maybe well, we can start that right? again. Start that again and start collecting them. Uh, I right, we'll, did a good Jimmy Norton impression. We'll uh, take a little break. Hi. And we'll finish the Opie and Anthony show in just a bit. We'll do that. I'm trying to think what else is going on in the news. We've pretty much covered it all. Anything yeah. off the top of your head? We never got into the... Um, that's your job, Morel. You are the top of the head, motherfucker. Well, yeah, I'm trying to think where to go. That's all. Man. We had our controversy, our our DJ controversy for the day, but people are always asking me every day about the the Pharrell situation. Fuck Pharrell! I can't believe that that guy. That whole thing. You talk yeah. about a guy that uh, you talk about burning bridges, man. This guy wants to just burn every single bridge possible. That's wow. his goal. That's his goal. In radio He's doing a good job of it. What happened? I guess while I was sick, he, what, something popped up on his website? Yeah, he's got a website and uh, usually runs down sports picks and scores and stuff on his front page. 
And then one day, of course, our pests, who were constantly vigilant looking for people who are enemies of this program, uh, found the, the, the link to the site and gave it to us. And uh, his front page said the Daily Skinny sports scores, picks below, and news. Check the Pharrell uh, front page below on Fox Sports Radio, blah, blah, blah. And then he writes, Stern's debut was huge on Serious Talk about a, uh, on Serious. Talk about a machine. They're going to crush people. He'll blow away XM and ONA easily. Oh! That's like, <laughs> what is he doing? Whoa! Whoa! Does he need Why a job that bad? you? I'm sick of these guys oh! in regular radio, you know, kissing Howard's ass, thinking Howard's going to give him a job. Pharrell, not Pharrell the rapper. No, no Scott, Pharrell. Pharrell. Who is this guy? Oh. All right, I thought you meant. It's not as exciting. I thought you meant. Nah, no, that could have been meant, some gunfire. <laughs> Pharrell, the from the, nerd, the no. mixed genius there. I, I mean, know. Pharrell, the the uh, sports. He didn't do that jock. whistling well, song he, though, did he? He's retracting his uh, <sighs> statement now, or something. I don't know. There was somebody on a message board that was ta speaking for him, saying he was close friends with Pharrell, and f he was trying to say what Pharrell meant by it. But I, I, I was, I posted on the, the message board, and I said. If uh, Pharrell wants to come on the show and explain his side of it, I'm fine with that. But until then, fuck him. Was that little picture of you with your M16 in the uh, No, that's the MySpace picture. Oh, okay. No, the uh, whack bag oh. picture is... Um, we'll see what this is about. Maybe we'll get him on the show tomorrow or something. Mustache? I have a, a sig pic of Hitler doing his little dance up at the Wolf's Lair. <laughs> and it says, Dancing Hitler, you know, without the G, because it's funny that way. Dancing. <laughs> It's hysterical. It's fucking Hitler dancing. Yes, it is. So we'll, uh, I don't know, we'll try to get Good Pharrell on the shit. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. until uh, he gets, you know, um, but, you know, wh why would you, uh, why would you write that? He's supposedly a friend of the show. Um, I don't know. Crush. Oh, he's not that guy I argued with that one day, is he? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that guy. So I think We've you for a long up time. our relationship. And, and we've been trying to figure out how to get him. And that was all the, me all the message board speculation was all, you know, I think it's because fucking Bill gave him some shit that day, and now he's fucking not friends with O&A anymore. Ooh. Shut up. Ooh. More Billy. controversy with the jocks. <laughs> fucking shit up. <laughs> we'll see. No, mind you, I just destroyed bits. Oh. Yeah. What do you mean? Did just out of too. pure ignorance. I go, you know what I notice? Every time you do this, it seems like that, and like totally expose a bit. Yeah, because I'm so dumb, I don't even understand. We had a running a gag that that I would um, read an instant feedback and be angry with the person, very angry with them, and say, you know something, I'm banning them. And I would go to like click on the ban thing, and Opie would go, you know what? Aunt, why don't you give him another chance? You know, the guy maybe didn't know, and I would consider it, and then go, okay, yeah, it was like but just this one time. And it was the recurring bit, and and people, I guess, at home would realize, well, you know. He never really seems to ban anybody, and I never ban people. people that was the joke. People expose good cop, yeah. bad cop. It's like, that was can you joke. not expose yeah, that's a, that's fucking Tango and Cash? And one day, top, bad that's cop. what he did. Never expose that. He, he, I, I did the bit. Opie said, no. I said, all right, I won't ban him. And then Bill goes, hey, you know, you never really seem to ban anybody. <laughs> that's that's yeah. Bill. Like, Thanks, fucking, Bill. <laughs> Captain in the CSI of jokes. <laughs> dude, dude, I see at point eight seconds you laugh at your own joke. <laughs> got ya! Got ya! <laughs> CSI. He's got a pair of tweezers and a hair. Fucking joke crime. It's a hair. <laughs> you would have banned that. Uh, the whole room looked at Bill that day. And like, oh. and you must have felt this big. Like, oh, nah, man. I didn't give a shit. That's that not the funny. fingerprints we found. On the ban button, it was the lack thereof of any fingerprints on the ban button, proving it has never been touched by Anthony's hand. Oh, I got I rest my case. that day on my oh, MySpace. Oh, sure nice going, did. fucko. Oh, you just made the fucko list. <laughs> Rune, bit ruiner. Yeah. Uh, all right. Speaking of other jocks, FMQB, it's one of these uh, trade magazines. Yep. It's online too, FMQB.com. Uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about. Commercial radio versus satellite radio lately. Mm -hmm. We go down this path every once in a while. Regular radio is now running spots uh, against satellite radio, even though in the beginning they were taking commercials for satellite radio. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. They're, they're obviously getting very nervous over there in the commercial radio world. So FMQB had a question. They do a question of the week with jocks from all over America. Right. All over America. In some fine towns like... 
Ugh. Ah. <laughs> like, ugh, USA. <laughs> and the question of the week was, you're, you're, you're the head of imaging for terrestri terrestrial radio. What's its new campaign slogan? All right, so, so a slogan for commercial radio, basically, regular right. radio, what have you. Um, and now you have to come up with a new slogan to get people to listen to commercial radio over satellite radio. And these dopey people in radio actually responded to this question. And then FMQB actually, uh, stopey? uh, they actually posted the, the, the more creative ones, I guess. So there, here are some of them. The first one's from Chase Murphy. From WFIC. My name is Chase Murphy. <laughs> I, I'm Chase Murphy. Chase is auto name. Collateral damage too. Chase My Murphy. name is Chase Murphy. I'm here to save you. <laughs> <laughs> and the question comes up from time to time: Why Ant and I don't do these uh, radio radio junkets, and why we don't have a lot of friends in radio? <laughs> it's examples like this that just uh, makes it very obvious for everybody. We don't yeah. want to be a associated with this crap. So the question is, uh, you know, what would be your new slogan for commercial radio? Chase Murphy, WFBC, his slogan is, radio, it's free, and it's not as bad as it seems. And they printed this shit. Is that shit. supposed to be, like, funny, or... Mom, please stop calling me. Mom, I'm not the Lord. I have to do this now. I don't know if it's funny. I have no yeah, idea. I, 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 I guess they're trying to go for some humor. Everywhere I go now, they now have that shit. When I was in, and I was in uh, San Francisco, yeah, hyping my shows. They, I was on something something free FM. Oh, uh, it's free now, FM all, all of a over. sudden, they they all of a sudden fucking realize. Like, hey. hey, wait a minute, guys! I and think there's there's so a problem. They're so stupid to say f free FM even because now you're drawing attention to yourself. Like we're we're free FM. So wait, what does that mean? What is what is and paid? And then someone will What's explain the option. Well, the option is you gotta you, you gotta pay for radio, and it gives you and they. What does that give me? And then you know commercials and uh, 200 channels and uh, music blah, and uh, blah blah. Oh really? Right. They're so yeah. stupid. They sh if they really want th to compete, they should just try to ignore and do what they do. I, they did try that. Learn nothing Oops. from television. Jagger from WKCI. His slogan for Jagger. commercial radio: FM radio always been free, always will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh dear Lord. Wait, wait, that's a ripoff of another slogan, like from a real product. Another awful? Always slogan. had it, always will. Right. Well, never had never it, never had, had it, it, never will. will. Seven up. And here's a problem, right? Obi, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I was running through this uh, thing. Yeah. Here's, instead of reading them all, <laughs> think seven up I think when they ask that <laughs> question, this is the thing we're talking about being edgy. Just try to find the ones that are sarcastic. Right. Uh -huh. Like, there are none that are even, like, cynical, like, fucking. Oh, no. No, they're trying. Blow me for asking me that shit. <laughs> it's right. only maybe one or two. The rest are like, radio, play, I'm going to figure it out. You know? Yeah. Dude. Hey, it's well, free. Tim Moore says it all from WJBQ. His slogan, it's free. <laughs> Stan Priest doesn't uh, do much better. From WSTO, we're still free and we kick ass. Well, actually, we kick. By the way, you know when you're when you're telling these little stories, here's a good idea. <laughs> Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. It's free. At <laughs> See now, Brody from w WDCG. I think he's trying to be sarcastic and have fun with this. One of the only ones. He he says uh, his slogan would be, maybe we're going out on a limb here, but how about, and here's the slogan, free hit music or music for poor people. <laughs> All right. That's funny. That's funny. So you got to give him props. All these other douches, forget about it. Carl Kraft from WRAT. What's that, the rat in Jersey, I think? Uh, the message would certainly have to encompass the myriad of formats. How about America's home for the marketplace of ideas? America's home for the marketplace of ideas. <laughs> Textiles for the future. A fuck kind of... 
old slogan <laughs> shit. I think that was the first slogan for the original Quaker Oats. <laughs> the Texaco <laughs> Hour of Comedy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, what commercials were done by the TV show live? Oh, yeah. I yeah, gotta tell you. Just, you finish your bit, but wait a minute, and you pick up like a little can of oil. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen guys would attack your car. Come here, your Fido. Phone. Come here. Hey, this is he, Milton. I love this old dog, <laughs> and he loves kennel racing. <laughs> this is Milton Berle. Let me take this wig off for a minute to be yeah. serious with you. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Talk about Jarrett's All right, the next hey, one. Hey, Bob Hope for Texaco Star. Let me tell you, they'll pump your gas and uh, clean your windshield. <laughs> Back to the comedy. Isn't that something? <laughs> Well, Michael Cross from KFMW, his slogan for uh, commercial radio, he just kind of talks about it. He uh, he says, uh, I agree with CBS Radio about using free in a campaign. Mm-hmm. I'm always pushing local, so that should be a part of it, too. Okay. That's the other thing that regular radio, commercial radio is trying to do is oh, like, yeah. focus on the more local stuff. Because satellite can't do that. Because satellite can't do that. You know what? I've been listening to radio since I was four fucking years. I could give a shit about local content. Who cares where they're talking about? You're going to give me the local news? I can, I can get the local news myself. Yeah. I could get that by reading a paper or turning on the stupid news station. They want to hear about, they want to know that if there's a snowstorm, they can come to this station and hear school closings. No shit, people. This is the type of stuff program directors will tell oh, you. Oh, yeah. Windbag from Atlanta. Go ahead. What's up, guys? I got the the best one here for Free FM. Yeah, right. Free Free FM Radio for Shuggies and Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Here's the thing, too, Obi. If you ask any geniuses on satellite to come up with the satellite shit, yeah. there's no more clever motherfuckers. The only thing the satellite has is you get the same motherfucker, but it's like, give me one for satellite. Watch out. Out of space. We're, we're in, in out pocket. of space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Ooh. No, no, but they throw curses in there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking watch out. <laughs> it's not fucking free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's delivered to you at the... fucking am, bitch. <laughs> delivered to you at the speed of light, dick face. <laughs> Why am I a dick face? <laughs> I like satellite. I don't need to be a dick face. I just want to listen to my Zeppelin without 20-minute t- commercial breaks. <laughs> Why is the job Why cursing? Are you me all the time. Are you attacking me? Because I can, oh, bugger. Uh, <laughs> we attack you verbally. Dick face. <laughs> you had to swear. For twelve ninety nine a month, <laughs> we'll tell your mother she's a fucking whore. Nobody, nobody's clever anymore. Yeah. Yeah, oh boy, serious and, and the XM got fucking genius. No, motherfucker. Yeah, when you ask questions like this. HBO, it's not just a... It's, it's, it's a hit slogan. Because mm-hmm. it's a hit channel, and it's like we're not just telling it. Whoa! Doesn't matter what it's but called. But if you right? read that on a paper, you go, "Who's the cocksucker who said this dumb shit?" This stinks. This sucks. Well, yeah, it's kind of arrogant. Well, Matt, uh, it's not TV, it's HBO. Matt Murray yeah. from WDHA, his slogan for commercial radio: "We've been doing it longer than Hugh Hefner." Watch out! Of doing it, and oh. <laughs> Jackson from WKQX. For the price of a cup of coffee a day, you could you could have a cup of coffee and listen to the radio. <sighs> radio. Oh, oh, I get it. Because I guess satellite radio, if you figure it out, if you like How about one radio? cup of coffee a day, you could pay for this shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is that it? I think that, I think we <laughs> I think we used that in a spot once. And you'd be healthier. Yeah, that kind of helps us out. Thank you. Uh, Dave Lombardi. Not just free, but here. Oh. Dave Lombardi. Kenny Allen from <laughs> KMDY. Hello, I'm Dave Lombardi. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Stupid. <laughs> get down. Get you're down. It's Dave Lombardi. Who are you? I'm Dave Lombardi. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Looking for my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll continue this tomorrow. Uh, Dave Lombardi. There's, there's one, or I guess there's one that makes fun of us, by the way. Oh, nice. We'll, uh, we'll tease that for tomorrow. Ooh. Good radio tease. Ooh. Oh, we're teasing Ooh. things. You know what I noticed? Oh, shit. What? Oh. You guys always seem to leave like a 
A little cliffhanger. Oh, I see. Oh, now, ah, is it Dave? I, ah. I am Bill Burr. I'm the bit destroyer. Yeah. <laughs> Get down. <laughs> I am Bill ah. Burr. I see what you're down. Ah, oh, you pulled it back and then you I pushed it up again. I let the streets get off the stage or I will remove you. <laughs> we, got, Man. we got some what did you what did you learn what did you learn on the Opie and Anthony show today? Pat uh actually Pete from Connecticut. What I learned today, India and Pakistan are fighting over a sweater. <laughs> Dimpled balls from Pal Talk. He learned if it sorry. Wow. I learned that it's not God's fault if you get a three-week warning. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yes. We'll go to Pager in New York, uh, or actually New Jersey on the phone. Pager, what's up? Hey, how you doing, guys? Hey. I want to play what you learned today on ONA. All right. I learned that Shwoogie play chess. <laughs> Great educational programming we had here today. You need to stop. That's it. That's yeah. the Shwoogie plays chess. All I need. <laughs> Andy Howard from Seattle. FM, it's free, just like cancer. Thank you, Andy <laughs> Howard from Seattle. <laughs> Patrice O'Neill, thanks. He'll be filming that new show on VH1 tomorrow, so we'll see you Thursday and Friday, right? And Bill Burr, we'll see you tomorrow, right? Yep. And we'll talk about the stress factor tomorrow and some other things. Lovely. Thanks for checking us out. Visit Bob Ronnie 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 Ronn